Oh, my right, guys. Sorry about that. I'm like, I'm not with it today. I was meant to hear, do my intro video there, but I'm here now. So I'm just gonna uh, just gonna chill for a minute. Uh, Legion Cage. Jesh, smart. So how you doing? Um, I've only just woken up, so you have to bear with me. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna put my shoes on. I usually do that during the intro. One sec. Up my life. How you doing? I hope you're well, folks. I'm. Uh, I don't know what it was. I um. I went to bed at the usual time. I just could not get to sleep at all. Yeah, Cage, I'll put shoes on to stream. I'm fucking... Sorry, language. I'm, I'm weird like that, bro. I'm very weird like that. Um, I'm like, a, I'm like a house shoe person. Like, if I came to your house, Cage, uh, and you were like, yo, it's take your shoes off. That's what we do in this house. That would not be a problem for me. In fact, I'd find it very respectable. But if you didn't say anything about it, and it was just like not it was like personal choice, you didn't care one way or the other. Um I would keep them on. You never you never know when you gotta get up and go. Don't worry, when I'm chilling in the evening, I will take them off. Um <clears throat> But while we're well, it's all business, while we're working, shoes on. Uh <laughs> But anyway, smart, thank you for stopping in. For giving me that uh lurk. I do appreciate it. You are you are a little gem. I hope uh, you have a good day. Um, yeah, no, it's <laughs> yeah, that's because because uh, you've got up and done stuff, Cage. You're like you know you're an adult doing adult in. I'm an idiot rolling out of bed. Uh, the only difference between today and a normal day is I will roll out of bed. You know, have like a cup of coffee or two. You know, get plenty of H two O in me. Probably, you know, do a little bit of something for like half an hour, an hour on Final Fantasy. Uh, then jump in the shower. Today, it was like, oh, God. So, yeah, I've, ju I've just made my first cup of coffee there. Um, and then... Uh, I've like barely drunk any water, so I need to like hydrate lots. Atheline! There you go, no shoes in Atheline's house. And as I say, I'll respect it. It depends on... Um, I feel uh, it's different. It's a cultural thing, and there's a lot of cultures where, like, probably ours and yours, where it's um just middle of the road. It's personal. Like, obviously, if you um, like Japanese culture, even in you know modern day, it's like you're expected to take your shoes off. No if ands or buts. It's not even like uh a point of pride. Like, oh, don't be getting your dirty shoes in my house. It's like, no, that's what you do. You take your shoes off. Oh, but I'm barefoot. Oh, no one cares. Uh, some some uh, places or households may even be like, yo, have these, wear these slippers, the guest slippers while you're here. It's like, okay, cool. Um, and I'm sure there's other places in the world where it's like the opposite. Like no one ever takes their shoes off. Uh, maybe like if you, um, you know, live uh, somewhere that's maybe like a little bit more dangerous or possibly... Um, more like rugged uh, terrain or culture or something like that. Uh, or, you know, ex extremes of weather one way or another. You might be like, well, you know, oh, my boots are like completely covered in mud or, you know, or sand or dust or, you know, and you're like, well, it's going to be more hassle. You know, it's going to create more mess dealing with it. But um, no, I respect it. Um my uh, my parents never cultivated that. Although as a child, I was the opposite. I'd be like, I'm not wearing shoes indoors. I'm kind of a maniac, I think I am. Uh, uh, and, but I've definitely been to places where they're like, yo, you're going to be taking your shoes off. Oh, they're not dirty. Well, no, that's not the point. You come into my house. You do as I say. Uh, you know, if only you could take that to the nth degree. I'd be like, oh, welcome in, guests. Um, yeah, in my house, everyone has to be naked at all times. Oh. Well, you know, my, what, why? Uh, don't worry, I've got uh, I've got heat in, you, you know, and you'd be nice and warm. But I do require that everybody is naked, completely naked at all times. Um, yeah, uh, can't take it too far, obviously. But anyway, Athlete, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, but yes, I'm a weirdo. Here we are. No intro, no nothing. Oh my god, my brain is. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Cage. Um, how's Bioshock going? I did see a bit of you last night. 
uh, I was always, always going to like say something, but um, I was. Uh, God, my brain is all over the place. Yes, <laughs> exactly. The, the only problem with that cage, if you get everybody who is down with that rule, uh, then you've got a house full of naked dudes. And we're like, yo, we're uh, a, a house full of, you know, hetero naked dudes. And this isn't exactly what we were <laughs> aiming towards. Um, you know, but that's, you know, it might be like one gay dude there is like, oh, all right, nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that was Bioshock. Um, yeah, no, totally, Kate. Okay. Oh, you know, you're one of my favourites, buddy. I know I give you a lot of shit. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I hope you appreciate it. I don't give shit to everyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm usually very kind and considerate of everyone. There's exceptions, obviously. Um, but bless you. What, and why are you on, uh, why are you on, uh, Veronica's account at the minute? I've seen you do that a few times. As you think he is, he's like, oh, you know, I'll just use my wife's account. Going to use her underwear as well next. Come on, bro. No judgment around here. Um. <laughs> Bloody hell. You don't really realise. You're not like massively thirsty when you wake up. I'm not, but of course you've your body's not had any liquid go into it for like eight nine hours um oh bless you what number one husband right there legion cage respect sir god to you um i'm glad that you look after each other because um almost all relationships just kind of like fall to pieces eventually you know my um my grandparents didn't you know both sets of my grandparents were with each other for the duration but i wonder if that's like an olden days thing that was just like you stay you stay in the relationship even if you're not happy not to say that they weren't happy i'm sure they were um, you know everything kind of leads me to believe they were but um when i think of like um people of our generation or maybe a little bit older maybe a little bit younger I don't know, maybe I'm just in a weird spot. I, d I don't know anybody who, you know, they, they, all, they all end up breaking up. They all end up getting a divorce. You know, some, some people were together for a year and it's like, oh my God, there's people. What a while. They're going to be together forever. <clears throat> or, you know, some people will be like married for 15 years. Um, and then you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. This is not, this is not for me. Um, you know, and some people will argue, well, you've made a vow. What is your word worth if you uh, if you said something and you didn't mean it? Well, no, they probably, people meant it when they said it. It's just we change all the time. And other everyone else changes all the time. The world changes all the time. Situations change all the time. So I guess people are saying, you know, I will be with this person, assuming that I always feel this way. They always feel the way they do and nothing ever changes then yeah we'll be together forever but uh you know that's that's not that's not a thing is it but um it gives it gives me um it gives me faith uh cage seeing you and veronica together you uh you do seem to um get along very well and i shouldn't put that on you if you like you know <laughs> you know you shut up here you don't know what bloody hell you're talking about you don't see what goes on she beats me, and I'm like, oh, do you want me to tell someone? And he's like, no, I kind of like it. No. I'm just talking about your marriage like this. Um, let's move on. Let's change the, let's change the direction here. Yeah, Skyrim. Um, Skyrim's going good. I'm greatly enjoying it. A couple of things. Um, so I noticed yesterday our wear multiple rings uh, mod doesn't seem to be working. And I checked out some others, and they don't necessarily seem to be working either. So that mod is gone kaput. Um, I'm also toying with the idea of turning off the uh, the light, the very light survival mode with the need to eat and get sleep. Um, 
It just feels like there's one extra thing I've got to check in the game at all times. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm glad you can uh, laugh about it, Cage. That's uh, that's where it, you know that means a lot to me. You know, you got to have a sense of humour in this life, and there are limits. You know, cause some people will be like, oh, oh, the worst, like bullies. We've all seen known these bullies who will uh, make everything a joke at somebody else's expense. And then when they that person speaks out, they use the defense of, yeah, I'm just joking. It's just a joke. Well, you know, that's that's awful. I hate seeing that. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think we know anybody like that. But aside from stuff like that, you've got, you've got to have a sense of humor in this life. It's so, abs so absurd, isn't it? Really, any of this, I feel. Um, but we've never known anything else, so we just accept it for what it is. We're just like, okay, this is... We can't explain it. We don't understand it. But it's just normal. It's just normal. Nothing about this is normal. And I'm not talking about the Snip show. I'm not talking about Twitch. I'm not talking about the internet. I'm not talking about I'm just a, a modern society in 2022. I'm talking about the whole thing. None of it is... It seems normal because that's all we know. But it doesn't make it actually normal, I feel. What is even is normal? I don't even want to talk about that. Jesus Christ. What is, I'm what this... I've been awful one today. Um, you do that. You're going to take care of Andy. Little Andy. Look after him. Oh, bless you. Cage, you're too good to me. No need to worry about that. But, um... Yeah. So, with the survival thing, it's like... It's not... It's more of like an annoyance. For example, it's not... It doesn't take much to go out of your way to make sure you eat a food... And have and sleep in a bed for a few hours. Um, I feel. Uh, but if you don't remember to do it, then the consequences are, yeah, you know, relatively grave, like less XP and um. And then all your, your stats, like, regen slower. It's like, ugh. It's not good. Um, so I don't know. Or if I'm just trying to have a bit of a cop-out. I'm just trying to think of anything I can do to streamline the playthrough. Because here's the thing, uh, folks. Um, plan is to play Skyrim for the rest of this week. And um, take care, sir. You have a good one. Uh, and all of next week. And then we'll be dropping down Skyrim to one day a week. We might even do that from next week. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how I feel come Friday. Um, because, you you know, because that would have been like almost like three whole weeks. And three whole weeks is kind of like our upper, not upper limit, but uh, our upper end for any game that's kind of like been very long. Um, Final Fantasy XIII was very long. Red Dead Redemption 2 was very long. Um... Dragon Age Origins was very long. They, yeah, they, they were all like in the range of, um, you know, uh, 15, six, six, 15 to 18 long streams to complete the games. Um, so I feel that something that's longer than that, we shouldn't, like, just, I can't just be a Skyrim streamer for the next six months. I mean, I can, I could, I'm sure people do. <laughs> I'm sure some people would love that. I'm sure some people, other people would hate that. And I'm not sure how I would feel about that personally. Um, I feel that although it'd be enjoyable, every stream would be very enjoyable for me. I would feel it's going away from the ethos of uh, what the Isnib show is supposed to be at its core. Um, not any one particular game, embracing all games. Not as not as far ranging as so slight of game. Who's planning to play every game ever? You know, not because some games I don't feel are worthy. Of the Isnip show, quite frankly. Some games we could even look at and go, wow, look at this trash game. I don't want to... I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather look at excellent artwork. Um, excellent. No worries, Jesh. Thank you for being here, buddy. You get something to eat and we'll see you back in a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, so... so um, but I do want to keep it going for anyone who is enjoying Skyrim. For example, Noct. One, one example, Noct who found us because we're playing Skyrim and she yesterday she dropped a sub on the channel 
So, you know, I'm sure she's not going to be salty about that. Like, if I was like, oh, no, no more Skyrim, she'd be like, eh, okay, well, fair enough, no more sub. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I just, I, I would like to keep it going into the future. So then, because of that, that would be 20% of all our streams almost indefinitely. And I guess at that point, I would start doing some stuff offline. Um, probably. We should see. Um, Ryan! We shall be the Lord of Skyrim before all is said and done. I don't know when we'll be showing you that, though. <laughs> but yeah, I think if we go hard this week, and, and it probably will have to be next week as well, make some like decent strides in some of the, the main quest line, um, and uh, just kind of at least presenting the, the hot, getting around to all, traveling around, getting around to all the holds. Um, um, just so I feel like I'm pre I've presented. So things I would I guess I, I feel I would need to show on stream would be the main quest line, the uh, the Dawn Guard official DLC, and the uh, the Dragonborn official DLC. Um, probably also the quest lines for the companions. And there are three other guilds, very important guilds, groups gangs to join or comparable to the uh um you know the uh the companions throughout skyrim i feel i'd need to show those all other side quests are exploring random crappy dungeons or um whatever just wandering around doing stuff i feel i could probably do some of that off stream and then just let you know if anything interesting happens um you reckon af it'll just the safe will just be dead we shall see we shall see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like I need to show you all of that stuff. Um, at least. Um, so to expedite things, I might play some off stream that is not that stuff. But we shall see. Um, we'll see how we go. Um, uh, yeah, because we've got other things to do. I've already got a couple of votes in. Oh, Ryan. Um, you may just be sat on your votes for the minute, buddy. You've got your votes. And get those into me whenever you like for whatever you like from the from the list uh and of course your additions if there's anything you want to add to the list uh but no pressure uh i don't want to mention for non-producers here um you probably could you see i've updated in the discord what is would probably be so basically we've got two games something that's got four votes currently and something that's got uh two votes so we'd obviously play those in that order but we're still waiting on votes to come in from ryan and also jack so by the time we put Skyrim to one one side, which we probably we probably would be would reserve it for a Friday stream. So Monday to Thursday would be like the regular schedule of the Isnib show where we'll do whatever is currently on the list. Um and then you uh, you know, chill Friday to just you know, do a bit more progress on uh on Skyrim. Uh Wolf. Uh <laughs> all right, Ryan, there you go. I mean it's uh all of your votes into Mario RPG. There we go. So that I tried to keep it secretive for the non-producers, but there's no rule against the producers sharing what they they want to go for. Is that what you want to go for, Ryan? Because I'm gonna add that in there right now if you want, buddy. Um, well, there you go, folks. You're probably gonna see Super Mario RPG at some point in the relatively near future of the Isnib show which i'm pretty excited about um some of you might be like, oh, what 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 is th what but yeah uh, we shall see so it's like obviously it's a, it's a mario game set in mario you know mario's like you know the mushroom kingdom but it's um it's an actually uh a turn-based rpg so and i just never played it um so go that's up there with the other um no no don't, don't apologize ryan you, you can you can tell these guys whatever you want i just uh you know wanted to uh you know have that air of mystery for uh you know i'll rather not call you guys out be like oh so and so voted for this or whatever <laughs> you know let it you know i guess once we start i usually have mentioned like who has chosen what like, it was mostly Jack that chose uh, Red Dead for us. 
and it's mostly Athelene who chose the, our Dragon Age games for us. Um, and, you know, so on and so forth. But yeah, good choice, Ryan. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. I've, I've only... I've, I've tried to avoid watching other friends and other streamers play it. Um, I've seen bits and pieces here. I'm told that... I've never heard a bad thing about it. Everyone says it's great. And I've even had a few friends say to me, it's like their favourite game ever. And I'm like, is it really that good? Okay, cool. Let's find out. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I do like my RPGs, regardless of whether they're open world like Skyrim or whether they're, um, you know, constrained uh, turn-based combat. Um, they're, you know, I do love uh, wandering around in Skyrim, swinging my big sword and, you know, getting like decent attacks in. You know, that free free-form combat. Or something like so Dark Souls, but there is a there's something of an absolute purity to a turn-based combat system, um, and of course you know some are very rudimentary, some are not very good, some are not balanced, some are not interesting, um, but some of the best of the best are uh, are fantastic. But anyway, I rambled on there. So what we're doing? Yes. Yeah, so yesterday in Skyrim we got to Falkreath Hold. We went to make the, the Greybeards. They were taught us about, they explained the voice, and the way of the voice. Um, you know, told us about their, you know, what for them. For, they haven't, like, given us a quest. I mean, they have, but they haven't, like, explained our destiny or what it really means. They're just like, okay, you're, the, you're a dragonborn. That means you have these powers, uh, and we want to help you get better with those powers. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks guys. Um... So we'll, we'll teach you a bit of thing, you know, a few things now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, well, that's it. Oh, what, what next? Well, if you want to know more, if you want us to teach you more, you've got to do something for us. Oh, okay. You've got to go over here to the north to a place called Morthal, uh, who, um, who, who, you know, it's kind of like, it's um, way on the, it's on the north coast. It's a bit more onto the, to the west. It's got a bit of a swampy area and biome. Uh, there's a dungeon there where the horn of our, uh, uh, you know, Jurgen Windcaller, the guy who, the original Greybeard, the guy who created the Greybeards, his horn is there. Go get that and bring that to us and then we'll tell you more. That's actually the main quest line. So the main quest line will not progress until we do that. Uh, Slick Mick, how are you doing, bro? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, back shortly. Well, hopefully your meeting goes well, sir. And uh, I... Uh, well, this is not massively boring or annoying, but um, we'll see you back in a bit, my friend. Um, however, uh, I like to kind of not dissect the entire map. You know, there's so many, a ridiculous number of locations of dungeons and caves and, you know, forts and, you know, whatever else that are on the map that are not necessarily related to quests, certainly quests that we don't have at the minute. Um... So I'm not going around doing everything in that regard. I don't feel that necessarily helps. I'm more like quest orientated. Um, but we're, we're going to try and look at each kind of hold a little bit just to give it a vibe, give it a showing on the channel. In case you know, I don't want to like skip over anything. Um, so we're going to basically we've got the plan is we pick a hold, which we started in Falkreath after we dealt with the Greybeard yesterday. Um, we you know we head. Uh, you know, head in there, look at the town, the city, uh, speak to everyone, meet the Jarl, um, and, you know, talk to everyone in town and pick up their quests. They're going to give you several quests. Some are minor things, some are maybe important things. Um, wrap those up as best as possible and then go, okay, we've done that hold. Let's pick the next hold to move on to and do the same there. And once we go around all of the holds, um, interjected, of course, by um, wrapping up any previous quests that have required us to go elsewhere um we'll um at that point when i feel we've showcased shall i say each of the holds which could take this is quite an endeavor in itself to say that um then we'll uh probably kind of lean into like fast traveling and uh you know just kind of wrapping things up and then push like some of the main uh the main quest lines um but yeah 
all things in good time. Um, so yeah, guys, I guess uh, without further ado, let's dive into it. And then I have too much more to say about any, any of it. So let's go. I think we're here. Oh, there we go. Wait for the, uh, the old Do Dover King to uh, get up and running. There we go. Right, um, I think I'm about to put that fan on. So, um, rah, 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 Dover King, Dover King, tra la la, Dover King. Sorry, <laughs> that's, that's the song. Not a very good cover. Uh, um, yeah, it's, so uh, like the past day or two, it's actually rained a lot around here where I live, but it's not like uh, autumn or fall is not really set in yet. It still feels like summer. So yeah, after the rain, it just like heats up again. Like it was raining all this morning and I went out uh, for like five minutes um, just after I woke up and the sun is out blazing. So it's still vest and fan kind of weather at the minute for me that might change in the near future right okay so what did we pick up actually here to do uh so falcroth is a an, geographically it's lovely it's beautiful it's like tucked away in this little forested area um you know kind of um you know it's got the mountains surrounding it to the south uh and it's kind of um slightly on a bit of a a plateau above um white run hold it feels like it's kind of you know out of the way a little bit um I love it um however ah uh, shatterstone mine that's the place the um the yarl wants us to go to to he apparently had to deal with the bandits there and now they've it's run its course and he wants them killed um ah! Ah! Is that right, Af? Well, I'm ple very pleased to hear that. <laughs> uh, I'm not against that at all. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's a bit of a, a weird vibe in Falkreath. Um, overall, so the Jarl is uh, a young guy who is the complete opposite of Jarl Bangruff of, um, of, of uh, Whiterun. Uh, Yarl Sidgir, he's young, he has no responsibility, he doesn't care about anything. He just wants to eat food, drink booze, uh, and hunt, and probably, you know, other, uh, recreational activities. And he just leaves, um, his, uh, steward to run the hold. Um, a bit irresponsible. You could argue that being arguably the smallest hold, or one of the smallest holds in Skyrim, it's like... And this kind of a bit might got a sleepy vibe to it. It's not not really too much going on. It's um maybe less of an issue. Um, but still, you know, if you're the yarl, you should behave like one. You should have the, you know, you should um have the decorum of one. You know, like imagine if Balgruff was the yarl of Falkreath. he wouldn't be like, oh, it's it's a little it's a little one. I don't give a I don't give a shizzles. He would still care. He'd still put effort forth. Um, but uh, something weird's gone on. Um, so the previous Yarl, which is the uncle of the current Yarl, uh, Yarl is still alive. Now, I thought, uh, you know, if you are the Yarl of a, a hold in Skyrim, you are to death, basically. And then, um, I don't know if it's uh, a line of succession or whether that's it's kind of or voted on. Or whether it's kind of like a, a vague combo, you know, uh, an amalgamation of the two. Um, but, he, he, you know, it goes to death. That's the idea. Uh, that's what was presented to me, except in extreme circumstances. Now, the previous Yarl is like, oh, yeah, they they ousted me because there's a conspiracy in the town. Well, like, what's conspiracy? What? Are you sure about that? He's like, yes. Um, basically, the Imperials have come in. 
and they are slinging so you know in an effort to get Falkreath hold on the side of the empire they've been slinging money around bribing people being like yeah give us information be informants for us and all this kind of jazz and part of that they just kind of ousted him and they were like oh by the way you're not in charge anymore and he's like what no no do as you're told bro sit back down so he's obviously not very happy about that he's told us to go and break into the uh blacksmith's house lod and find a letter that kind of proves the conspiracy now i don't i mean first at first glance i'm like in two minds is this guy just crazy was there a legitimate reason um but as soon as i go into the jarl's longhouse he's in there with a, a high-ranking in, imperial soldier looking at a battle map and i'm like okay what's going on here so i feel it's definitely worth investigating what else do we have to do we um lod uh the blacksmith is also there's a, a doggo wandering the roads that he wants us to capture and basically just be like here you go lod here's your new pet dog and he'll give us some money for that okay a bit random more importantly um there's a, a couple in town who run the farm their young daughter who was recently murdered by some random dude uh the reason he murdered her was because he's a werewolf but he didn't change into werewolf and kill her is he uh he stole some werewolf ring that stops you changing into a werewolf from the daedric prince her scene uh and it's cursed he's been cursed to you know so he doesn't change into werewolf but his desire for blood and killing and hunting is still there hence why he murdered a little girl with his bare hands and tore her to pieces it's very disturbing um so we got his story and then he was like i was like oh give me give me that ring i'll i'll, I'll go deal with her scene um you know because you know we're always putting our no you know poking our nose and things aren't we um and at which point he then he could transform into werewolf and then he just escaped so i mean i don't know how that guy but um <laughs> the cursed ring we cannot take off and apparently has the ability to randomly turn us into a werewolf at any moment so i feel that is our absolute priority um i'm not sure how i feel about being a werewolf anyway i kind of was talked into it by the companions and we'll see if we can uh get you know deal with that later um but yeah he told us yes if you want to break the curse you must go back into the forest and kill the great beast so we're going to do that now was that clever code is he actually the beast he's like go kill the beast and then he turns into a beast and runs out into the forest and he wants a showdown with us or wants us to kill him because he feels guilty i don't know i'm gonna find out um let me just check a few things i don't think we're yeah, going i don't think we're tired or hungry at the minute we are hungry but not tired okay let's eat some food what we got um rabbit soup thank god looks good nom um yeah foul creep they've got <laughs> they're uh it's a beautiful little hold but um they could tidy up the town a little bit i feel and stop the wild animals just wandering through town but they don't really seem to care anyway let's go Who are you? Citizen. Okay, we already spoke to Citizen, didn't we? <laughs> the name's Zen. Citizen. It's okay. I thought um most NPCs usually had uh an actual name, but Right, looks like we need to maybe turn off the road at some point. Oh, okay, it doesn't look like we can get around that way. Well, you can go fairly steep slopes in uh, Skyrim. There is um, definitely a limit. You couldn't walk up that. 
Probably. You can probably walk up this here. Not that. Oh! Is that the beast? The white stag? Oh, I don't know that... I guess if this makes her scene uh, happy... I, this definitely looks like the creature we are looking for. Let's see if we're going to kill it in one uh, one hit. I feel bad just murdering this beautiful creature. I'll make a point of uh, taking all of its... um. All of its meat and hide and everything. Um. Well, that was a. Uh... Okay, got a bit of graphical glitch there. Never mind. Let me uh. Let Wow, that's uh, very jank. Oh, its ghost has come out. Wow, I feel like an asshole. Sorry I killed you, buddy. I'm just uh, trying to remove a curse here. It's, um... This meat's quite uh, weighty. Oh, was I supposed to be carrying too much stuff, I feel? I think it's meat anyway for now. Aspect well of Percy. Oh! Did I just kill you? <laughs> Are you yeah. Are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. Okay. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Ah. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt. Oh. But only Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Now, <laughs> did we turn into werewolf then because of this conversation? Or is that just random? I think I feel it's random. Um, he's done me wrong. Uh, yeah. Well, he did, he did murder a child, so let's just destroy him. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Right, go to Bloated Man's Grotto near the northern tip of Falkreath and begin the hunt. Okay, so you can follow her scene. That's um, that's a religion. Um, her scene is the huntsman, the father of man beasts, is guardian of were creatures. Now we're not planning to be to stay a were creature forever. There's uh, other options. Um, Improve attacks against weakened creatures. Slay the living in open combat, especially those stronger than you. Live as a werewolf. Prey in the wild. Those skilled in light armor are most deserving of my favor. Um. Oh, okay. Looks like we have to accept her scene. It's not uh, giving me the option of not. Oh. Right, are you having a bubble? Are you having a bubble at a minute? I think the game might have died. Let me um, do a little test, eh? Oh, no. Okay, so we'll cancel that, so we didn't have to do that. No, I think my controller's just having a moment. Thank God for that. Alright, so uh, I wonder if we... Uh... Oh. We turned into a werewolf at that exact moment. I guess we'll feed on this creature. But... God, we are scary looking. Um, so... I don't think we have any perks at the minute, do we? Yeah, you have to feed on corpses. But, um, my question is, um... 
to myself, I guess, is uh, if we say we put points into this and then we no longer are a werewolf, because there are a couple of different ways to, to you know, make it so you are no longer a werewolf, uh, and then we the were to change back to werewolf uh, for a second time, would we still have all those perks? That's the question. It seems pointless to go to the effort of leveling up the werewolf if uh, it's not permanent, even if you change out of it. Um, no, no, you, you certainly can't. And in fact, a werewolf that's not scary looking af seems like kind of a waste, doesn't it? Um, okay, so this is kind of a problem, though. Uh, is <laughs> in that... Um, a werewolf, you know, having beastly hands, is uh, not exactly able to uh, look at uh, their map. They don't have a map, I guess. They can pick things up. Unless I just, uh, just follow the quest marker. Yeah, we can't, uh, now, let me just, oh, I could test is, um, no, because I can't even get into my, uh, magic menu or anything. Okay, well, we're just going to give this a go. Unless, of course, it is a case that her scene does in, indeed kind of transform you for the mission let me just uh make sure there's nothing else uh marked so i'm not you know i'm not heading the wrong direction yeah uh, just the north and west a little bit i'll try and go as the as the crow flies that's uh well it's pretty uh quick as you would uh expect Now, I assume they can swim okay. Oh, you're, the troll wants some. Is that a good idea, Mr. Troll? No. Werewolves wreck trolls. It's the, uh... This is the answer to this. <laughs> um, looks like it's fat. I'm not worried about those uh, other pieces. Um, the, the pelt doesn't really matter. I swing. I can't even check like my what I'm carrying or a quest log or anything. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> they can kind of swim. God, we are going all out, just murdery. Actually, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'll right, we'll grab that Nern route. Oh, I see another one there. All right, so um, werewolves, pretty good at swimming. You cannot be in first person, uh, though, as a uh, werewolf, or or better or worse. Oh, and there we go. We just randomly turn back. Okay. Even though arguably it might be in our best interest to to be a werewolf. Uh. Oh, we've actually got it. Actually, on the other side of the mountain. This is actually not far. <laughs> it's actually on the in White Run. Honestly, if we're honest about it. And I'm carrying too much stuff apparently. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not carrying too much stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was just, um, that's part of the curse, isn't it? That's what I'm talking about. I you know, it might be fun to run around as a werewolf. 
and maybe even be very good if we um if i'm struggling to uh you know do uh so you know get through a certain area because i'm just too weak and there's too many enemies oh Illinois uh deep oh okay sunken ruins by the looks of it again we'll um don't worry about that at the moment yeah we need to remove this curse from this ring that's the out it's one thing to um I don't think you can look at your uh, your werewolf stuff except when you're a werewolf. Oh, well, two freaking perks! Don't even notice. Um, Team Jacob, Jacob the werewolf. I'm just showing my ignorance here. Aff. It's quite entirely possible. Uh, <laughs> Oh, ferocious strength. Power attacks with two-handed weapons increased by 15% plus 0.1% per point of stamina that's put into it. Unlocks decapitations. Oh my god. Um, I guess we'll get that then. Um... Could get that. There's just um, there's too many things to choose from, which I guess is a, a nice problem to have, isn't it? Okay, let's go for that sneak attack. I, I'm, I've forgotten about that. Yes, yeah, so sneak attacks with one-handed weapons, like a dagger, is the idea. 100% more damage. I don't think our sneak is good enough to get right up behind people yet. We will be eventually. Um, sneak attacks with any other weapon or fists deal 25% more damage. Any other weapon abos any other weapon, isn't it? So that's going to give us an extra 25% damage on our bow attacks from uh, from sneaking. So I think that's a worthy thing to go for. And a known route, I'll see you. Um... Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Jacob is the werewolf. Right, so my understanding of this is in the world of Twilight, werewolves and vampires, although, of course, they're very dangerous and scary, they're also not that dangerous and scary. Beast form's ready. Okay. Good to know. Uh... <laughs> Um, because they fall in love with human girls, and then they have, like, a little hoedown about it. And also, they're very good at being emo. I don't know, is that... Have I got that right? So, no, I haven't. So, yeah, presumably... So, here's, here's... Let me see the story. So, human girl meets vampire boy. They fall in love. Have tumultuous relationship. G uh werewolf boy comes onto the scene and then you know human girl and werewolf boy have a thing and then that's like you know the uh the uh confrontation between the werewolf and the vampire being like yeah she's man uh, and then I would can only I, I haven't seen it, but I can only assume ev eventually either she doesn't get with anyone and she's like, "You're both idiots." See you later. Or she gets with the vampire guy because she was like, "You were my first love." It was nice hooking up with that werewolf lad for a bit, but I'm I'm true I'm a, I'm a really a you know a, a vampire girl at heart. Is that did I get that right? <laughs> is any of that correct there Af? um because i literally uh have never seen twilight i know that the uh 
the lad who plays the main vampire guy is uh, Robert Pattinson, who's sort of the new Batman. Um, uh, apparently, he did a, a, a decent job of being Batman. I don't know how true that is, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't judge. Um, but it's not something that's ever necessarily appealed to me. Um, I guess like middle of the road for me is like something like Buffy the Vampire Slayer because there is definitely romance elements to that uh, series uh, particularly with the main character Buffy and you know various um, men who are like dangerous and not fully human um, and I wonder if Twilight was inspired by Buffy at all um, on some level uh <clears throat> But there's a lot of... It's not just about ro the romance. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of, uh, you know... Um, especially as it goes on, it gets quite dark as well. Um, you know, and there's... Like, I don't know, there's like a lot of Monster of the Week. There's a lot of, um, you know, like there's kind of almost like the... Um, you know, the Scooby Gang. They literally call themselves that, I believe, in it. They're, you know, they're like, hey... what? How, how are we going to save the world this week? Um... You know, which I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe there's, a, maybe there's a lot of that in uh, Twilight as well. I don't know. I just um, I don't know enough about it. Here we go. Um, hello there, buddy. What's going on here? Oh, so we've gone into a cave. We're actually outside, are we? Weird. Or are we? Have we stepped into another realm? Join the hunt. Um, right, I've got all this weird vibe that we've... Uh, we're not quite in reality anymore. Has the Blood Moon called you, fellow hunter? Not exactly. What's happened here, buddy? The prey is strong. Stronger than the hunters. But more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. Indeed. Oh, bro. He just died on me. Now, should we just go straight uh, werewolf at this point? I think... It, I feel like if there was ever a time to go werewolf... Alright, so there's a bunch of other hunters were here and they just got wrecked. Oh. Let me take his, uh, fancy robe, though. It's more like interview of a vampire. Right, yeah. That's what I would have guessed. That, like I said, they're all Mormon and straight. Okay, that sounds boring. Nothing against the Mormons. Um... Oh. Sorry, the werewolf boy falls in love with the vampire boy. Not the not the human girl. But he also falls in love with the human girl's baby. Sorry, did I I don't think it's Is it like a saga? That like because I know obviously you'd assume that vampires at least, maybe werewolves as well, don't age. So is it like thirty years later? Because I, I, I I don't think anyone should be falling in love with babies. Uh, that's um, that sounds a bit <laughs> not not good. Um, but um, oh, okay, in the future, not when it's a baby, presumably. So that would be uh, okay. Okay, all right, okay. So all right, so there isn't there isn't a conflict between the werewolf and the vampire. Into over the girl. Okay. Because that's the thing, being a vampire, it kind of changes, you know, you have to be human first. No one's born a vampire, or maybe some people are, but I don't know how the law in um, in that universe works, but um, just making assumptions. The ones are getting at, there's nothing to say that a vampire and a human cannot, uh, you know, biologically, you know, create a, a, a baby. 
um and it may be a slight half vampire or i, I can see it being just like 100 percent human as well you know what i'm saying um like the vampire part of a vampire isn't doesn't change the fact that they're also human at their core so so to speak um oh that's dis that's disturbing you <laughs> what you should you <laughs> that's that sounds uh very strange Af what um it's not just like some weird um infatuation like he's like he's racist against the vampire guy and he's like wow there's no way a vampire could look after a baby so i'm gonna have to step up and i'll look after the baby um that sounds i hope right okay it sounds very weird i didn't realize they were covering such a very dark uh subject matter as that <laughs> um okay i'm going to I'm going to try and just do a, this quest at least as the werewolf. It seems appropriate if ever there was any quest. Um, and also, I can level up. Oh, we're feeling tired, are we? That's not good. I can uh, feast on these corpses. Here we go, we've got a vampire, uh, we've got a werewolf bug. Shame we were suddenly made tired, but not sure we should do that. All right, 25% more damage. This fourth ranks of that. No long for no forces transform at night. Oh yeah, we uh I have that turned off anyway, I believe, but um feeding heals hundred points of health. Okay. Power attacks uh cost twenty five percent less stamina and do twenty five percent more damage. Nice. Additional fifty points to health and stamina. Nice. Uh movement speed is increased by ten percent. Oh, both in and out out of beast form. Wow, okay. Maybe it's worth remaining. Uh... That's a werewolf. You. Why? She murdered a little girl. Never thought I'd see you again. I've been told to kill you. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? Yeah. I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Her sing is too powerful. If you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. I will not. I cannot defy her scene. You have to die. I will spare your life. No, let's. Uh, who? Who? Who do you want? We, we are Izzy, the Dragonborn, who is also a werewolf sometimes, and we are trying to become the Lord of Skyrim, essentially. Um, who do we want as an ally? Uh, this random werewolf bloke who can't control himself, or a Daedric Prince? So be it. Yeah, we're going to wreck you, buddy. Come down here. Let's fight. Are you going to walk away, are you? Okay, you do that. You do that. I'm coming for you. Let me do a separate save here, um, because, uh, maybe it's better to try and fight him as, um, not as a werewolf, although I imagine that wouldn't be the case, but. Oh, let's not miss the treasure as we're going through. Um, oh, Nordic Orichalcum Light Shield. It's very valuable, so I should take it anyway. Um, Runel's gold amethyst ring. Flawless. Uh, I think we were looking for something for Runel, weren't we? I don't know if that was it. Oh, that's just like Mikhail's amulet we found. We literally just 
some treasure has got is belongs to somebody and then you return it to them for a reward okay i think that's what it is I am going to feed on these corpses. I assume these are other hunters that, um... That, uh... What's his face? Our enemy. Oh! Feed on your corpse, matey. There we go. God, we wrecked him. Talk about Alpha Wolf around here. Oh my God. I was thought that <laughs> he spent most of his time running away. Unless we've got other hunters to deal with. That could be a, a, a thing as well. Okay, that sounds freaky, Af. Well, so they choose to do the imprinting. Or it's just... And what what does that involve? Does it, is it even explained? Or is it because they're like... A, a werewolf is essentially a wolf, which is a, a dog, a hound, a canine. And canines can kind of like... Choose or instinctually kind of like bond with, you know, a human. Uh, I guess I don't choose, do you? Like, if you get a pet dog, that dog will love you if you look after it more than anybody else and will probably die for you and do anything for you and is very happy and content. So I wonder if they've kind of derived it from that. It's just weird that a, a grown man werewolf would be like, yes, now is the time for me to do my imprinting. Let me look around. Let me spy. Who's around that... Um, I would really like to, you know, be the love of my life that I would want to dedicate my life to. Oh, that baby over there. What? What? That? What? What, bro? Now, I wonder if, is it like a, is it like some kind of issue that he has with the, the human girl and the vampire boy? Where he's like, I'm going to choose your baby for my imprinting. Me. Or is it just random... It sounds... Is that... <laughs> I, do, I just... I don't think I'm going to live long enough and there's too much other things to do and look at for me to ever um, be able to probably uh, check out Twilight. But... Um, very curious. Let me say that. Uh, oh! Oh! Right, we've got a little arrow to the air. Um. I think I'll send a corpse into the ground, though. Unless that attack just annihilates a, a corpse. Kind of thing. I've got another perk. Okay, the first thing I'll probably go for would be the extra health and stamina. Let me just have a look what these are about. Infinite duress. Oh my god. Uh, frenzy attacks. One-handed standing power attacks in beast form stun targets. This is what I did there. But, um, uh, backhand attacks. Two-handed standing power attacks. Disarm targets. I don't know how the, the difference between those. How I changed from one-handed to two-handed. Unless two-handed is... We don't have a block. That's on the left the short trick, left trigger. Uh, roadkill leap attacks two-handed sprinting power attacks do a critical strike equal to your stamina and throw targets my god okay right, i'm gonna skin you in a minute buddy so i've got skin while we're uh, in in beast form can we might as well level up with all these corpses around but i'll say this 
Uh, werewolves are freaking strong. I feel bad for these guys who came here for this hunt, but... Okay, I think that's the... Uh, is that the whole area? No, it'll be further up this way. Oh, okay, and it just comes back around to the camp. Right, so I guess we want to try and transform back, don't we? Tear, tear the skin from Sinding's body. Yes. You've done well, Hunter. It's her scene. I did as you asked. And found my favor. That skin will serve you well, child. Okay. Look. Back to my friends. Closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. Hey, I removed the curse ring. And we've got his uh, sending skin. And he's gone. Uh, Savior's hide added. Okay, that was that was our first run in with a Daedric Prince. Who are you know um some people will probably tell you they're evil. Uh but that guy I mean he's got his own way about him, but he doesn't seem strictly evil, does he? Um I I felt. Anyway, let's have a look at um the Savior's Hide. Light armor. Got the value on it. 35% uh, resistance to all magic and 35% resistance to poison. La -de da. How does that. Uh, and that. Ah, and it is actually better than our White Run Stain armor. I guess we're going to rock this for a little bit. Resistance to magic. Hopefully, presumably, not our own magic, but. That is freaking cool. Very happy with that. Um, right, okay. So the the yeah, Nordic Orichalcum uh, light shield is pretty damn good for a light shield. But we're rocking our uh, Orcus shield there. Yeah, this mod to um, have... Uh, Multiple rings just doesn't seem to work at all. Never mind, eh? Um, oh, I never used my bone spirit time, did I? Which are um, only really good against undead. Okay, I guess that's... Um, I guess that's everything here. That was a interesting, fun little quest. I enjoyed that. And we got to level up our werewolf a bit. Um, so maybe it will help us out in a pinch. Um, I want to just look something up quickly. Um, I'll give you a spoiler. Some people already know this. Uh, and as we're talking about Twilight anyway. Uh, and as we know, the... the uh, Vampires have already been mentioned um, because of the da Dawn Guard hunt them. Um, there is the possibility to be not only like you become a werewolf, you could become a vampire. Now in Skyrim, they kind of hate each other because um, they're just racists. Uh, <laughs> not really, but yeah, they're, they're ancestrally they're like against each other. I guess it's from a hunter kind of you know trying to be the apex predator. Um, in uh. In vanilla Skyrim, you couldn't be both. You either chose to be a werewolf or you chose to be a vampire. You, there's no... Um, you, it's not possible to be both. Uh, and generally, however cool the werewolf is, I kind of like the vampire better. Um, which uh, would be the case. But I wonder if we're running a mod or if they've changed it so you can actually be both. 
that would be ideal. That would be the actual way for us to go, I feel. Um, uh, let me find... Have a look. Skyrim. Uh, be both... Vampire and werewolf hybrid. Is that a thing? Um... Oh, okay. Apparently, this in the in the janky game that is uh, that is Skyrim. Apparently, <laughs> even without a mod within the game, it's possible. Um, normally, one would have to pick between the two possible transformations at a time. Isn't a total lock as you can you can undo either effect and, and change between them. Yeah, Vampolf. Exactly. Um. <laughs> That's the way to go. Um, no normal means to quickly switch on the fly. Uh, each day has its own perk tree that can be maintained as a hybrid without the additional need to relocate points. Wow, okay. Um, okay, I have to do the procedure in a certain order. Okay. Well, we've already, we've already balked it for us. <laughs> the, uh, the normal way of doing it is to... Uh, you have to become a vampire before you even start anything related to werewolves. Right, yeah, you have to restart all of Skyrim with a fresh new character. We're not obviously doing that. Um, you know, because I feel like the companion storyline is a very natural thing to, uh, to do. Um... Okay, there's a mod for it, though. Right, yeah, there you go. It's just someone's got a mod here. Um, I won't add it in at the minute, because it doesn't matter. It's going to be a long time before we were likely to become a vampire. Um... Ah, okay, so in the base game, when you, if you're a werewolf and then you choose to become a vampire, it automatically removes your, uh, werewolf status, um, and vice versa. All this mod does, apparently, is it adds, uh, the, a uh, kind of a passive resist the cure of lycanthropy or the resist the cure of vampirism, um... That's all it does. So that sounds perfect. I'm, again, I can install that after uh, after stream. Don't need to worry about it in a minute. But um, thank you for the lurk there. Af Gotta go to work. Oh, thank you. Back before the end. You're doing that eight to midday shift. Blech. But thank you for stopping in, Af. You are you're always a, a joy to me. Um, there we go. So we wrap that up. Uh, and we got some fancy new armor out of it. Let me have a look at it. Wow, yeah, very, uh, very hunt, uh, hunt woman's looking. God, yeah, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's built, is, is he? My God. Let's go. Beast form power is ready, okay. Um, I just want to have a little look at, um, uh, our, our wear beast overhaul. Okay, uh, Werebear. You can become a werebear instead of a werewolf. Yeah, don't worry about that. Call of the Blood. That's the percentage chance we are, are forced to transform at night time. Oh, that's why I've turned that off. And I've turned off XP and armor gain when uh, you're feeding on corpses. I don't understand why that would that would you'd get xp for that that's why i've turned those off and you can make yourself in, invincible during beast transformation which also seems like very cheaty uh and silver hand elite where beast hunters roaming around 
Um, Dark ass, if you assume the beast form in front of witnesses or e leaving eaten corpses behind, draws the attention of the silver hand who may send elites after you. Um, yeah, we don't want to turn those off. Well, you know, if, we, if we're not careful, we want those coming after us. There we go, back out into Skyrim. Right, okay, so. Look at our magic there. Although, we're we tired. Freaking tired again. Um, because so much of this game, um, I feel that spending cumulatively upwards of 15 or 20 minutes a stream, being like, oh, I need to eat food. Oh, I need to sleep. I think we're going to turn that off, honestly, guys. Yeah, it's it's just something extra that you need to think about that's not... I don't feel is really serving us. I can understand that... You know, and Af says she like loves all that kind of stuff. Um, but... Uh, we shall see. Um... I don't think that matters, does it? Uh, I mean, you could maybe have the sleeping thing on, but, um... Well, that's, I mean... <sighs> okay, so it's restricted uh, rest of duration. Max of eight hours. Okay, well, let's. Um, I think it's going to be easier to turn these off. Honestly, you still get a rested bonus if I do. If we do choose to sleep, so we've still got that to think. Oh, actually, guys, maybe we should rest at the inn for the night because it will give us, um, you know, a passive XP bonus for a little bit. But um, yeah, let's get rid of that. That's cool. I think that's I feel that's reasonable. Uh we also need to I guess I could favourite that. Uh, just in case I need it. Um let's pray briefly. It's Kinnereth. There we go. Fifty seven point nine percent. How very uh how very specific. The moons look freaking amazing. Imagine if our moon was like that close. It would um be uh far more uh staggering, wouldn't it? Hey, Queen Velvet text. Queen Kiki. How you doing, my dear? Are you all right? Hope you're well. Welcome in. My name's Isnib. You know me. It's probably obviously the first time you see my stupid face. But welcome in, my dear. Oh, you, I hope you're well. How was your weekend? How's, uh, how's life treating you? Welcome in, my dear. One streamer to another. Just uh, if you ever need anything, you just let me know. Um, I only know of you, Kiki, because of... Uh, our mutual friend Slight of Game. Now, Slight is a very good friend of mine. Um, I think of him like a brother. Uh, so, if, if Slight comes to me and he says, yo, check out this streamer, they're good, I'm going to listen to him. And, yeah, you are good. So, yeah. And you and you literally are good as well. So, I'm pleased to hear that. You're welcome in, my dear. We're, um... So, uh... I won't give it a whole spiel, but, yeah. You just call me Iz. Everyone, everyone does, but, um... I've been running my channel for just almost two years now. And uh, I guess I'm not like you, a variety streamer. And um, we do we do a bit of everything. Uh, I guess I focus mainly on various RPGs and various retro stuff. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we, uh, I'm trying to be here for the, uh, the duration, you know, the long haul, so to speak. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, welcome in, my dear. Right, so for now, what I want to do is just get back to Falkreath. Um, a shame we're out in the middle of the night, but um, if we get over this mountain here and angle over in this direction. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I could, I could swim it, but I don't know what's in that water there. It could be iffy. Let's just, let's walk around the coast. Here we go, a bloody mud crab trying to go for us. And, uh... 
I'm by looking jank still. Oh no, it's fixed itself. I don't know where that mother crab went. Let's not worry about it. Mud crabs are weird because they're so weak and uh, undangerous, yet they will try and attack you on sight. Who's this bro hanging around in the middle of the night? He's a fisherman. I've okay. been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> uh, did you, Kiki? Eh? Well, very nice. I. Uh, <laughs> that is um. If we're talking about the same kind of high, I'm sure we are. Uh, that is a. Uh, that's something I, uh, I'm definitely a fan of. Let's put it that way. It's hard for me to indulge um, because of uh, various, you know, circumstances regarding legality and, uh, yeah, no, I'd, it, it, disposable income, things like that. But, um, yeah, I respect it greatly. Good on you. Yeah, of course, because it was Labor Day in the, uh, the US yesterday, wasn't it? So I feel, not everybody. My friend Scotty, he had to work. Um... I'm just, no, a bunch of other people did have to go and work anyway, but um, but yeah. So it sounds like I had a good day. And so yeah, I respect that. But yeah, welcome in, my dear. Any if you've got any questions for me, you, know, you just you just let me know. I'm um, I try to uh, be as accommodating as possible. But yeah, Kiki, how how long have you been streaming, my dear? And you you also do a bit of everything, don't you? I saw you playing Doom the other day. Good choice. Doom is like a, a hardcore old favourite of mine. Ah, Half Moon Mill. Ah, while well, we're passing through here, we've got a little thing to look at under a bridge. Someone stashed something under a bridge. Now, I assume it doesn't mean this crappy little bridge there. I assume it means uh, this big bridge here. Kind of dark, isn't it? Maybe we can um get some candlelight up in here. Yeah, that's a bit bell. Aha! Ah, here we go. Jofton's nose. Here we go. Let's have a look. Um, an ancient battle site was discovered near Thorin's lair on the ground. An assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra and his golden sights. Golden Saints and Dark Seducers they'd strewn about. It's from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Ah, so that's how they got started. Okay. Um, and it's not where we were dealing with some bandits, two groups called the Saints and the Seducers. And this is how they got started, by finding some Daedric equipment. And they're like, yeah, we'll use these, now we're badasses. And you're like, eh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> um... Since then, as the only blacksmith, I've taken upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts. And now, at last, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great Daedra has found, finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft. And yet the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How can this be? The trick appears to be threefold. At first, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. A third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to the forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attributes of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. Right, okay, so you need moonstone... Uh, not too hot of a forge, and a daedra heart. Okay. Uh, the presence of forging the dark armor of the seducers is similar, but requires more finesse, as you must balance shaping the unyielding ebony with malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce sorry, introduce the daedric heart to the forge as you heat the material. Okay. And there we go. We've got uh, Mithril Quicksilver. we changed them into Mithril. Um, and some Ebony. Right, okay. So now that should essentially, I assume, give us the crafting recipe for, for that. 
Not that we've got any Daedra hearts. <laughs> Maybe a while before we come across any, but uh, good to know regardless. Okay, so this is just a random mill here. Random uh, sawmill. Okay, that's fine. Um, welcome back, Legion Cage. Excellent, excellent, Kiki. Yeah, you keep going. There's all the time you're enjoying streaming, keep doing it. Um, I know many people who they feel like, oh, I'm burnt out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm this and that, you know, I'm taking a break. You know, whatever you need to do, I feel sometimes people push too hard and they get to the point where they're just going through the motions of streaming and they're not actually enjoying themselves each and every stream, each and every moment of every stream. Um, so whatever you do, uh, Kiki, just, um, make sure you enjoy yourself. Um, whatever games you're playing, whenever you, cho or you how frequently you're choosing to stream, whatever you choose to do, just make sure you're having fun. That's the most important. Anything else follows on from that. Because if there's ever a moment you're like, you know what, I'm not really feeling this, then you need to kind of, like, reassess, like, why you're doing it. But, um, yeah, pleasure to, uh, Pleasure to know you, Kiki. Any, anything I can do for you, let me know. Um, Doom 3. Doom 3 is an interesting one. Um, I, th I, I think it's, it kind of stands on its own. It's, um, it's a fun game. It's a fun shooter. Um, and it's definitely enjoyable. But it's, um, it's that kind of bridge between the old school Doom, which is my, is my favourite, and like the modern Dooms, um, as made by... Uh, uh, Bethesda, um, but, uh, yeah, definitely worth playing, you know, a lot of people kind of, uh, poo-poo, uh, Doom 3 a little bit, but I, uh, I actually think it's pretty good, um, how did my, how's my carry capacity at the minute, okay, very full, Udis, Imperial Soldier, oh, Vigilant of Stendar. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Oh. You mean like Hercene, who I just con cavorted with? Um, who's Stendar? He is the god of mercy. Yeah. The patron of order and justice <laughs> for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And you hunt Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Yep. Vampires, werewolves, witches? You drop a don't any werewolves. But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Right, okay. Um, pleased to meet you. The vigil. All come into the light. Okay. Um, I'll keep an eye out for you, because um, here's the thing. Uh, we are, in fact, a werewolf. Uh, and uh, we've also... Uh, just had a little chat and done a bit of work for her scene, a Daedric Prince. So I assume that would fall under their category of Daedra, of things not to be doing. You're not supposed to be doing stuff like that. But, uh, we shall see. Let's see how that goes. Um, are you not Squidge? I don't Squidge. You right? Um. Oh, yeah, Legion Cage. There you go. Uh, Legion Cage probably Kiki knows probably more. And I have video games is um a thing that lots millions of people are obsessed with, and million pe millions of people are very knowledgeable on. I'd say um, Legion Cage is uh specifically has a lot of video game knowledge. Um, what's wrong with werewolves, Cage? You know, if you, you here's the thing, I didn't, I'd forgotten this. I wanted to actually, Cage, I want to avoid becoming a werewolf, but uh, to progress the companion storyline. Spoiler alert: we've already done it on stream anyway, so you know, uh, you have, you have, there's no choice. They go, yo, it's time to become a werewolf, and you either go, yes, okay, or they, you go, ah, oh, I'm not really ready yet, and they go, okay. You come back and let us know when you're ready. That's it. That's all. <laughs> That's the extent of it. Um, Twitch will do that to your Squidge. Well, I hope uh, we don't distract you too much. Bless you, Squidge. You, you work very hard, Squidge. But it's, um, 
it's tricky when you're your own boss, isn't it? Because, oh, that, yeah, of course, that's the troll we killed as well. Uh, that's when we were in werewolf form. Um, because, um, you know, it's easy, it's good, it's easy and arguably good to slack if you work for some faceless corporation that doesn't care about you. But when you, you work for yourself, you have you you're the only one who's pushing yourself. And if you take a day off or you you're lazy or whatever, you're is that a freaking ghost I'm seeing wandering up there? On the corner. It looks like it. Um Wow, we went the completely the wrong way. I took a left when I was supposed to take a right. <laughs> Let's see if I can remedy this. Um You know, you have to um, you have to stay on top of it. But I, I know you're good at it, Squidge. But um, Never oh. have come here. what? Who is this, bro? With his little uh, freaking wolf here. Right, let's get our fire breath. Let's put out our sword. Yeah. Novice conjurer. Never should have come here. No, you shouldn't. Just attacking me out of nowhere like that. We could have been friends. Why can't we be friends? Cause you are a dick. Uh nah. Cage being evil. Yes. Be distracted. Me. Oh, yeah, I've, I've bought these little recipes. Oh, I didn't actually look at it yet. There you go. Good to know. Um, a fresh meat? A freaking... Uh, that's some, a mammoth uh, trunk there. Okay, anyway, let's see what this guy's got. Um, staff of unbound fire. We definitely want to take that, don't we? Uh, and it's money. Is potion at all a boar tusk? I guess we'll uh just nom that right down until our death bell. What's he doing here in the middle of nowhere? Nothing good by the looks of the god, the, the ten remains of bones everywhere. Ten people's worth of bones. My god, um. I'll take that uh, floating coin there. If I can target it. I can't. Never mind. Uh, what's this? Ah! Conjuration skill up book. Nice. Level 25. Don't mind if I do. Now, I would I would uh, turn him into one a zombie for us, but... As we're heading back into town in a moment. Um, that being said... Should I not make a point of turning into werewolf and eating every corpse I come along? Or maybe uh, maybe it's uh, redundant for what one guy we've killed. Uh, maybe it makes more sense to look at any dungeons or caves we go in and you've got like 10, 20, 30 dead bodies. Might, that might make more sense. Right, anyway. Let's um head up to this way, maybe. You too much credit. No, nothing. Well, that's the thing. I don't think I've got a terrible game, video gaming knowledge. There's many, many series, many, many video games that I've um never played. And consoles that I've never owned. Um, but uh, you know, you could probably say the name of a game or series, and I'll be like, okay, I, I recognise that name. Um, but I don't know, I just feel my knowledge is pretty broad and fairly, in some places, fairly detailed. But I just feel, um, like, I feel like I could stack it against anybody else's knowledge. But I just feel, yeah, in, the, in the little while I've known you, Cage, I just feel that you have that little edge on me. Um, part of that is probably because you worked in video game retail for quite a while, so you kind of had to know more for your job. But I feel it's more than that as well. Um... My God, yeah, Squidge, I'm bloody loving it. We are, um, we will, uh, 
be doing the rest of this week. I'm not sure how we're going to handle next week. But we, we definitely won't be doing more than next week as well. Uh, and then we will drop it down to one stream a week. And at that point, I will start doing a, a lot of the playthrough uh, off off uh, off stream. Um, not, nothing that main quest, nothing important, nothing that I want to uh, present to, um, you know, on the channel. Um, but yeah, there's just so much to the game. We would literally, I would, if I, we could literally play this for the next six months. And that's not uh, conducive to the channel and also honouring the producers as well. So uh, I've got your votes in, Squidge, and that will probably... I've still got... Ryan's just put his votes in. And we're just waiting on Jack um, to see what he wants. Um, but yeah, we've got two couple of things coming up. Um, excellent. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I think that's the very first time I saw you, Kiki. You were playing Dragon Age, which uh, we've recently played Dragon Age 1 and 2 on this channel. Maybe we've got Inquisition coming up. Now, Fable 2 is a superb game. And... Um, Probably my favourite of the Fable trilogy. Um, very, very fun games. Been a while since I've played any of them myself, but we shall uh, we shall see. Thank you for the alert there, Jesh. I do appreciate it. Uh, some of my favourite games. My God, my God, Kiki. Uh, I guess I, I'm a fan of the the like Skyrim and the other Bethesda games. So the Elder Scrolls games and um, the Fallout games on the other side of the spectrum. There, you know, thematically. Uh, I do, I do enjoy a uh, a bit of brutal doom, the like, original doom with the uh, the brutal doom mod on it. Um, that's kind of like my go-to game for when I just play something for five ten minutes. Um, Dragon King Slice. Oh, Kiki dropping up Dragon King Slice. She's probably like, what the bloody hell was that? That's a Dragon King Slice there. Hundred bitties. You don't need to do that, Kiki. Bless your heart. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, thank you, my dear. Never necessary. I'm just, I'm just happy and honoured to have people here, uh, wonderful people to talk to. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I do enjoy the uh, Western RPGs, like um, the Dragon Age games, things like that. Um, those uh, Bioware type games. Um, I uh, also a massive, massive Final Fantasy fan, uh, as testament to the fact that we've that's been our kind of main series we've played through, uh, and, and any kind of JRPGs. You give me a JRPG, RPG with turn-based combat. It doesn't even have to be Japanese, although I guess most of them are. Um, that is my bread and bar. I'm also a fan of like uh, anything retro, up to a degree. So kind of, I think like this for me, the SNES, the Super Nintendo, was um, the height of that. If we go back to the NES, I'm like, I'm getting a bit like confused. I know that's um, a very important system to people within our community but that's one that i kind of skipped over i, I never had the uh and then a nintendo um but yeah i don't know i i like and play everything uh kiki I, i'm a fan of um like uh some platformers we've played uh metroidvanias definitely a thing i'm into um but yeah i guess um anything that's um like a fairly in-depth RPG, whether it's like open world, like Skyrim ga type game, or whether it's very, like a bit more rigid and it's like a turn-based combat JRPG, like a Final Fantasy game. There, uh, there's stuff that I'm up on there. Um, oh, bless you, thank you, Kiki. I appreciate that. Never necessary, but always uh, appreciated. Um, you walked away for a minute, Cage. Who do you think you are? It's Legion Cage. I can't compete with him. Have we got... I've got a freaking troll here. I've got no real desire to fight it. I guess I can do if it catches up with us. Let's just run away from it for now. Trolls are just very aggressive. Here we go. All right, I'm almost back home. Where the home is. This is Falkreath at the minute. So one thing we want to do is... um. If we do this thing for Sidgear, the Jarl, he uh, did say that he did in the note he sent us. He'd be like, "Oh, if you do some stuff for me, I'll make you Thane, and then uh, I will also potentially." Uh... Ah, cool! Heavy armor level up. 
um, I'll also potentially uh, sell you some property. So then we could have a second house elsewhere in the world that uh, store our stuff and, you know, store any companions we meet and kind of like rest that. Uh, as we're kind of fairly laden down at the minute, that would not be a terrible idea. Okay, so um, I'm going to wait for a few hours. Wait till nine in the morning. Yeah, the cage likes to shout people out, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but yeah, anybody doesn't know uh, uh, Queen Velvet Tex there, Kiki, she's uh, she's really lovely. I should, I'm sure I know she'd be uh, very happy to uh, if anyone's going to say hello to her at any point. Obviously, I'm not I'm not here to tell people what to do. You know, you do what you want. Um, let's get rid of our candlelight. Let's. Uh, uh, reapply our stone flash. Give it a nice uh, armor bonus. Right, now, um, how much stuff do I have to just sell? Most of this I don't really want to sell. Most of this is um, stuff I want to keep, really. It's uh, kind of a pain. Um, got these bloody cave bear pelts. Um, God, we've got all this, uh, all these ingots and stuff as well. I, we're not, it's going to be a pain to go and clear out a dungeon and not be able to carry stuff. Um, I am inclined to, let's speak to the, the, uh, so I'm not trying to fast travel at the minute, although I'm not going to cry about it. We can maybe speak to this bro here. Hmm? How much to hire your carriage? To um. Good day. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know what time it is, folks. Let's hope. Uh, <laughs> let's hope this. Uh, isn't a necromantic dragon. Um, but it's time to fight a dragon, isn't it? He's attacking the town. We are here. Oh, God. Okay. I'll... I think we're in it. He's found us. Is he going away? Oh, okay. He's just having a little gander. He's having a little shout at us. Um, fair enough, eh? Um, okay. Well, I'll see you later, buddy. We'll catch up with you later. They were certainly shooting arrows at him. I don't know if they maybe didn't hit him. Anyway, two lives. To all the cities in Skyrim. Um, don't forget us. Yes, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, Riverwood might be fine. Um, but we want to go to, uh, Winterhold. No, we don't. We want to go to White Run. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Uh, take me straight to White Run. Sixty gold. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Okay. Climbing back, buddy. Never been to White Run before. Yeah. The Jarl's Palace is something to see. Dragon search, they call it. Big old dragon skull hanging on the wall. Are you saying dragon search? Dragon's reach, bro. Come on, Mister Voice Acts. You need to um. You know, you do need to uh, step up and, uh... Okay, so it is just fast travel, but at least I'm forced to, like, pay for it. Okay, that's... That's reasonable. I'll, I'll accept that. No, not yet. But I will. I just have 
these two. Gotten around to it yet. Oh, John, stop dallying. You know you have to go. It's why Mara put you on this earth. You think a few miles can truly keep us apart? You mean you won't forget about me the moment I'm out of sight? Get yourself a nice old rich husband, have 16 babies. 16? You've uncovered my master plan. Let me know. Now I suppose you'll never to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Harlot. Lol, these two. Yeah, yeah, because uh, John Battleborn, these two are like basically in love. Um, John was like, oh, yes, I want to, I'm writing a song, a poem about you because of how much I love you. And she's like, oh, let's hear it. He's like, oh, it's going to take a little while. And then there he was, they, they were talking about, oh, you need to go and join the Bard's College. Um, and he's like, eh. But I don't, oh, don't want to go, you know, the Bard's College is up in solitude. So maybe he's not just, he's not, he's been serious. This is. Alfina was like, this is why Mara put you on this earth. John Battleborn, the bard. Get to it, John. Don't hang around, buddy. All right, I might step out. I'll sort out what we're doing in uh, Whiterun for a minute. Um, What time of day is it? Okay, and it took us... Uh, about three hours to get here. I could even start breaking down these iron arrows at some point, but we'll, uh, we'll stash them for now. Ah, we can have some orichalcum uh, ink and or two orichalcum ingots for breaking down that shield. Nice. Let's do that then. These two. I, I mean, that's what I thought. Now get out of my way, baby. No, <laughs> get out of my way, baby. <laughs> uh, funny. Um. Yeah, I don't even know if I really need a torch anymore. I guess I should. It doesn't weigh much. I guess we should carry it around. Um. Ah, we got nettle bane to turn in, haven't we? Let's go do that. Danica, where are you? There you go. This is the temple, isn't it? There she is. What is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. That's why I'm here. We don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. Wow, you're a dick. What's happened to the Gilder Green is a travesty. Yeah, don't take out Danica, though. Uh, As you're to sick. Oh, my joints ache. I, I can't eat nothing, and my head feels like a furnace. I've seen better days. More rest will do you good. Indeed. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I have. Here you go. Oh, I. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Oh, <gasps> I'm glad you did. Now. Lol. I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Well, we've come this far. What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Ah, and then we put the sap on the tree. Uh, Elder Gleam sap from its sanctuary within the sulphur pools of East March. Oh, okay. That's way out of the way. Okay. 
Well, um, that can wait then. We're not. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Uh, can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. As do I. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. And we're not heading there. I don't want this Maurice Jondrell, who's a random guy, uh, following us around. I'd rather have company right now. I understand. Some journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. Why on earth would we take this random bro with us? That I don't understand. Never mind. If maybe I'll re remember to come back here. Oh, I've gone out the back door there. Never mind. Or the side door. Either way, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> let me just pray briefly. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Ryan. What's this? Two gift subs there. Damn, going to Jesh and Parrot, who we raided yesterday. <sighs> Ryan, you're too good to me, buddy. It's never necessary. I'm, I'm just honoured to uh, have you here. Especially as you're one of our show's executive producers. I feel that's more support than you, you need to do, bro. But, you know, you know, I'm always, I'm freaking honoured. You don't, um, never expect it, but you know, I, I do, it, it, it has helped me out a lot. Um, you know, I'm not, not spending, uh, any money on, um, you know, cocaine and hookers. Uh, you know, unless, of course, that's what you guys want me to spend my money on. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, um, yeah, I mean... Who knows what the future holds um i could go and buy a, lot, a bunch of i could spend money on getting some spell tomes from ferengar but uh i feel we should save our money to potentially buy a uh house in uh falkreath um so we'll go with that for the time being That's pretty good. The bone spirit destroys undead, potentially. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll have to prove it on stream, won't I? But, uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess there's technically things I need to spend money on in terms of the stream. Um... But that's because I've been according to the government, and it's true, isn't it? But uh, I've been self-employed, so to uh, I'm perfectly happy to admit this. Um, you know, you have to report. I have to report how much money I make and how much money I spend on expenses. Uh, and depending if you're in the if you're in a certain amount of profit each month, um, that could potentially come out of the benefit money I'm getting for you know, from the government. Uh, so what I've done up to this point uh, is essentially I however much money I've made on uh, Twitch and Patreon or whatever, uh, I find something to spend that money on, and I legitimately do. Um, like the last thing was uh, obviously the soundproofing. You know, this mic paid for by you guys um, and various other bits and pieces, uh, just so the amount over total money is not getting lost from uh the government if that makes sense it, it's cool oh, i guess it's called playing the system but it makes sense i'm not lied about anything but um in the near future that all might all be changing uh so i don't have to like necessarily declare so any money i'm actually making i don't i'm not instantly having to spend i might have to be spending it on rent uh in all honesty but <laughs> um Either way, it's never it's never spent on anything frivolous. Uh, and there go technically, I do need some extra th stream stuff. There's nothing that's I say need. Need is very like a stream deck. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Have we struggled without a stream deck for the past two years? No, we haven't, have we? So it's like you know stuff like that. It's not necessary. Beifu. 
a complete opposite of unnecessary is Faith Food. How are you doing, Faye? Are you alright, my dear? Are you well? How was, uh, how was your Tuesday? How's your life? Is it good? What's going on? Welcome in, Faye. Um, so, what do I actually need to sort out my items? So, we need to stash all those, stash some books, probably. Um, stash some, um, uh, crafting materials. Uh, I wonder if we can get some extra bear pelts. I'll stash our dr uh, dragon bones and scales. All our ingots. Um, what are you... Okay, I'm just seeing if there's anything I need to sell. We've got stuff to uh, break down, I guess. And Runel, he was uh, back in Falkyrie, so I'll save that for him. Um, no, I don't really have anything to sell, like, massively. What I need to do is just um, slash everything and break down my enchanted stuff. I, what I will do, I'm just going to head into Bellathor, see if he's got any bear hides for sale. Welcome to Bellathor's um, general goods. Welcome indeed. Everything. Some may call this yes, junk. Me, yes. I call them treasures. No friend. Uh, there we go, and he does as well. Nice. I just need one. Oh, he's got some lock picks. I'll buy those. You know, if I have too many lock picks, well, you can, but also n not. You know what I'm saying? Um. Oh, I've got a couple of fishing mats I don't have yet. Let's get those. Unbound fire. I don't know if we... We'll buy it just because it's cheap and it's in his inventory there. Um... Actually, some better light boots for us there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, ah, night vision, eh? We want that as a spell. We don't want that as a circle I've got to wear on my head. An arm on the head, don't we? Um, there we go, Cage. There we go. Is she not even set it up yet? It's a, it's a lovely thing to... um Because there's things that I could sound effects or little video clips or you know various things that i that seem far too much hassle to set up but if you had a stream deck and you took the time to set it up you've got literally a button there you can press a button and what you can do whatever you want with it which is pretty damn cool um right so yeah face so are you running on hotkeys yeah so <laughs> uh yeah in my obs i've I just have, I put everything on the the numpad basically, and that's just switching scenes. I don't have anything else set up, but um, you know, uh, hope it's you know, it's it's good enough. Yeah, you don't need it, do you? It's just a nice convenience, isn't it? Um, Red Mage, Stream Deck and Steam Deck. Yeah, I try Steam Deck's nice. I've heard. Mike, how you doing, Mike? What's going on, buddy? Are you um, are you on your break at a minute? Uh, welcome back, Jesh. No, not too much. We've just gone back to Whiterun to sort of, like, sell some stuff and not even sell stuff. Um, just, like, we need to stash some things and sort of some stuff out. Um, do you have one, Faye? The Steam Deck. My God. Um, yeah, we don't need do anything else back. from you. Do come back. Especially if you want to... Sell me your sister. It's like, calm down. Put some clothes on, child. My God. Here we go. It's our little friends. It's our little pet. How you doing? Come with me. I need you to carry something. Wait for me at home. Wait for me to see. Can't just say hello. Can't just say hello, buddy. How you doing? That's a shame. Um, anyway, so let's stash all our alchemy ingredients. Oh, 
I, uh, I think we've uh, sampled all of these. Apart from Nern Roots, obviously. Ah, there we go. That's uh, already lightened the load slightly. Uh, Mystic Condenser. Can we... Ah, there. Healing Potions automatically condensed. Soul Gems automatically condensed. Excellent. That's what it's supposed to do. I didn't realise... Um, let's have a look. Quality Potion of Health. Ooh. So maybe that's what we should do. We need to start... Um, just saving any i don't care about resist magic and it basically we need stamina uh and uh magic and uh, health potions so what i should actually do save me carrying them around i guess is actually store them in here with my alchemy ingredients um i'm gonna save that one yeah, I don't know what the difference between an elixir is and uh, I guess it increases, doesn't it? Not just restores. I, I guess I just want the restore for the three main stats, really. Everything else could be sold. Um, uh, right, let's stash it. I need to pick that crap up. Uh, stash our books there. Well, how are you doing, Red Mage? Thank you for the luck, buddy. No worries. Uh, I'm very well. I'm very well, Red Mage. Oh, I need to look at these quickly. Okay, a couple of fishing spots there. I guess you can't fish, like, everywhere, can you? Okay, they're related to that quest line, so we can't drop those. Um, that's the spell we want to use. There we go. I stash the little books for later. Right, uh, our crafting materials. There we go. Um, I want to hang on to the bear pelts. Uh, oh, cave troll pelt, we can sell that. Um, elk hide. We didn't seem to want to break that down, so I'll just sell that. Um, butterfly in a jar. I have no idea what that's for. But I guess we'll uh, we'll just keep that for now. So I think we should just set our Thane armor. I'm not too worried about it. Um, right, Nettle Bane will. It weighs five. Can we can we leave it? No, because quest item we can't. Okay, that's kind of slightly annoying. Um, but so be it. Um, Okay, so what I want to do is just take out stuff here that, uh... I suppose I could keep the Thane armor. Just for aesthetic value, I guess. Right, these, we just want to, um... Disenchant. Keep my uh, sword collection there. Okay, so I think we're good. We've got a few bits to sell. And we just need to get up to, uh, up to, uh, Dragon's Reach. And, uh, go use, uh, Farangar's, uh, enchanting desk and just disenchant all that stuff. That'll go some enchanting XP. 
and it will uh, clear out the uh, the load. Put some clothes on, child. My God, you're not cold. I don't like that, that preacher down there. He's too shouty. I don't, I'm not going to preacher, but I want a preacher to be, uh, you know, have something good to say. That they don't need to shout about it. You know what I mean? Right, here we go. So, destruction spells and enchantments cost less. Here we go. Enchanted level 20, and we've leveled up. Grounded attacks. Nice. Damn. Enchanting's got 22. Took me two freaking levels there. That. Enchanting goes up quick. Um, let's burn that. One ended enchantment. Damn. We're going to get two levels here at this point. Tempting to uh, break down our sword, but we we use our uh, use that fancy sword quite a bit. And it was a gift for our, to us from the uh, from the uh, yar, wasn't it? As soon as we find something better, we'll switch it out. But um, now we're wearing that and we're wearing that, so we won't break those down in the minutes. We find replacements. Nice. Okay. Oh, six levels of enchanting there. Um, now these, presumably, you so you cannot disenchant something that you've already learnt the ability for just to, to destroy it, and you know, uh, you know, uh, just get the XP. So those that stuff there, I guess we're just gonna sell. Good to see. You. So I guess we'll try and sell some of this stuff to Farangar. The talent to guess them. Even buy that just to uh, immediately disenchant it, I guess. Oh, so he wants like two thousand gold for it. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> Look at all the spell times he's got. We'll get there one day. Um, right, okay, so I guess we don't need either of these. Um, or any of these. Might keep those gloves, though. They will pay off 20% better potions. Um, speech skill 15, kind of nice, but... It, all that's really going to do is get us extra money, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, gold onyx ring. I might. If we might uh actually stash that. Um, if we come to be trying to enchant certain things, you want a ring to do a particular thing. I think you need like a certain grade. I think a gold onyx ring might be a look of a, a higher grade where that would be uh, appropriate. You take care of yourself now. Yeah, you too, buddy. All right, so we just go down to Bellathor and sell him the last little bits of junk that uh, he can add to his treasures. There's uh, a second child that needs clothes that also has the wrong head. Well, that's um, that's, that's modded Skyrim for you. Not everything works properly. Well, Noct was telling me she, you know, in her setup, and she runs over 700 mods. That she basically got everything working 
in a good fashion. Which is kind of staggering when you think about it. Right, here we go. So I'm going to sell these few potions. Elk hides, cave troll pelts, and, and speech level up as well. Nice. And a glazed plate. You don't need that. Thank you, Do Bellathor. Come back. Do come back. Oh. Um. Of course, we got our level up, didn't we? Oh, decisions. Um. I think it's time to put a bit more into health. Definitely need more stamina at some point in the near future. I'm going to health for now. Look, I'm all like a third of the way to level 22. Um, right, one perk. What to spend it on? Decisions. I don't really dual wield uh, one handed weapons, though. That's the only issue with that. Tired enemies have a hard time defeating your armor. You take up to 20% less attack damage from enemies with half or less stamina if wearing all heavy armor. That's the problem. We're wearing a mixture. That being said, though, we're going to have to put some um, points into those if we want to get to the, you know, the other stuff later on. Okay, I'm not really getting to chanting at the minute, and smithing is, um... But we might need to, uh... Put points into these if we, uh... Want to break down various different, uh, types. Um, oh, although it looks like our, maybe our... Restoration has opened up slightly here. The first ward you cast in combat costs no magic card to maintain. That's cool. I don't know if we have a any ward spells that may. <laughs> ah, your attacks and restoration spells and effects are twenty percent more powerful against undead enemies. Kind of good. Okay, that's just very curious then. Let me get uh, this one. Two spirit tutors roam Skyrim. Added in with this mod, presumably. Find them and speak with them to receive a permanent blessing that makes restoration spells 1% stronger per 20 points of magicka. Let's just get that and see, uh, see if those guys turn up at some point. Yeah, spirit tutors. Okay. Curious. Now, I think that's everything. Yeah, 175 out of 400 carry capacity. Uh, that which will definitely reduce greatly. We just need one more bear pelt. I'm tempted to travel out to uh, Iverstead. And cause there'll definitely be a bear around somewhere. Kill it, and then I can get rid of these bear pelts. Otherwise, I'm just stashing them and thinking about it. Okay, I do need to stash those gloves. And they don't weigh much, but... And this onyx ring... Let me just stash them real quick. We could even rest, but um, the, the time it is. Oh, hang on. Uh, I guess I don't need that venison steak anymore.
There we go. So, stash your uh, alchemy gloves. That ring. Everything? Yes. It's, um... I guess it's even already. That wouldn't be necessarily a problem. Okay, see if the carriage guy can take us to Iverstead. I just gotta find one bear pelt to by killing a bear or by um maybe we can just buy one in the store. I don't know. We shall see. Uh I'm gonna say I'm gonna step out for three minutes because and those of you who've come in uh, before the begin after the beginning of the stream. I um I was hella overslept today. Um so I'm not like I kind of just had to get myself ready as soon as possible and which is fine. That's on me, but I'm like behind by like about two cups of coffee at the minute, so <laughs> of what I would average. So um we'll go and make coffee in a second. See if this broke to us. Hi, the carriage. Yes. Where do you want to go? We want to go, uh, not to Raw Extended Riverwood. Um, Halfinger Pale. It's the uh, the Rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Rift and Iverstead. Perfect. Eighty gold. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Climbing back, buddy. Just sit back. This won't take long. Um, it will take long if you if you leave the carriage yourself. Assuming it didn't take long anyway. Got on that artwork. <clears throat> well, look at that! Right there, folks. God, it only took like again three hours. Now, where's the uh, general store? In fact, you know what? I don't even know if they have a general store in uh, Iverstead. That's a temple. Pilgrim's needs. All right, if this bro. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh well, not, let me. Let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that. Bear pelts. There we go. Perfect. All right then. Now, um, we might not get enough more money than we spent on th this, but it was just a a, a question of uh, getting the quest to tidy it up. I feel for me anyway. That stuff like that's important. Here you go, lady. I want your ten bear pelts. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. No, or I'm going to give you these ten bear pelts. Nice to finally meet someone who can follow simple instructions. Here's your reward, as promised. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Of course. War, iron war axe of the threads. I was expecting money, lady. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Reduces target with 7% or less remaining health to one point of health. Okay. I see the effect, but you need it to be more effective than 7%. Because at 70% hit points, you're almost dead anyway. Can't believe that's what she gave us for all that effort we put in there. Um. Now, one little question, though. I don't know that there's a ca the carriage actually remains in Iverstead, whether he's just dropped us off and left us here. Okay, we've got that guy on the boat will take your places, but obviously not where we want to go. Check on the other side of town. Right, okay, now this is... <laughs> to save us just walking... Um, 
pointlessly. We just have to walk down here and then all the way along here. We walked this yesterday. I'm actually going to do our very first official fast travel right the way to fast uh, to Falkreath just because it it's going to save us a minute. We're not going to see anything along the way that we've uh, not missed. We've walked that path yesterday, so uh, that'll probably be the only time we do that for a little while, I hope. I'm not inclined to, um, you know, do like partway fast travel. By that means, say, if uh, after we've done in Falkreath, we want to head over here to the rift. I'm not going to like fast travel to Iverstead. We will make the journey in that case, but so, you know, we're getting the whole thing, but um, I'll do it for now. So, okay, so 8 p.m. This is actually going to probably work in our favor. Um, I'm going to uh, step out for a minute and make coffee. Please bear with me, folks, or don't. If you have something else you want to do, I encourage you to go do that. Um, I want you to have a good, good time with it. Um, be as quick as I can.
Oh, I sorry to keep you waiting there, kids. Uh what's, what's this? Uh <laughs> Is nib niblets the tasty vegetable chunks that melt in your mouth? Vegetable chunks. Uh okay. I mean, that yeah, I could go with that. Um <laughs> Yeah. I mean marketing needs to let me know about it as well, honestly, Sky. How you doing, Scotty? You're right. Are you um it's your day off today, isn't it, sir? Are you enjoying it? Hmm. Excellent coffee. Even cheap coffee. I've got I've got bloody um long life milk as well, which is not like real milk, is it? Um But even that is just like mmm. Perfect. Right, so here, what do we have to do in, back in Falkreath? We've got a couple of things. Um, uh, nope, nope, nope. Right, yeah, none of that. It's just these side stuff. Right, okay, so the Yarl wants to kill the lead of the, sh the bandits in the Shatterstone mine, which probably would involve killing all of the... Uh, uh, all of the bandits. Uh, Runal is journal. What's that related to? Ember shard mine. Okay, that's not too far away. That's back over towards um, Riverwood. But that's uh, that's perfectly reasonable. We've got his ring as well. So that's uh, we need to give him that at some point. Um, got to steal a letter from Lod's house uh, for Dengir, who was the uh. The previous Jarl, who's the guy who's going on about this weird conspiracy going on. Uh, look around the road outside Falkreath for Lod's dog. Um, to find a hunting party. The one that's gone missing. Up on the west side of the lake. Uh, and, uh... I think... Oh. Uh... Oh, that's, um... That's right, right. Something back in, uh, Iverstead. We'll do that on the... We're heading back through that way. Um... Right, it's so a bunch of stuff to do. Okay, that's the that's where the doggo is. That's the bandit leader. That's stealing the letter from Lod. Uh, there we go. Renewal's journal. And look for the hunting party over there. So I guess first we'll um try and steal this letter from Lod's house. Now I'm gonna need to break in. So I'm going to wait around till the middle of the night. So if people see me break the, you know, pick the lock on his house, they will not be happy. So I'm wait. I want to wait till like just after midnight. You're good, are you, Scott? Yeah, excellent. You slept in, I'm at, bro. I slept in as well. It's got to be done sometimes. I feel. Okay, we'll let all these NPCs clear out and go to bed. That's the thing, when you uh, wait an amount of time, um, the NPCs are not doing stuff while you're waiting. The world is paused. So if they're, for example, in their usual schedule, they, they go to bed at like 9 or 10 p.m. And then you, and then it's like 6 p.m. But then you wait until 3 in the morning. They've not, they've not already gone to bed. They, they are s s frozen in place. And then their script then tells them what to do. So he goes, oh, it's 3 a.m. You're supposed to be in bed. That's why when you see, um, you do that, you'll see like half a dozen people or more all in a location, all grouped together, start leaving to go and do the thing they're supposed to do. It'd be better if it worked the other way, but it doesn't. Uh, now we are apparently seen. Okay, there's the freaking guards. Hey, fellas. Nice evening we're having. I'm not stood on Lod's porch for any reason, apart from it's a nice evening. And I'm, I'm not going to bed. I'm just going to, uh... I'm just chilling here. I'm definitely not planning on breaking into Lod's house at all. Not at all. Definitely not. I'm going to sneak now. And wait for you to go away. <laughs> it's, there we go. Oh. Right, okay, we're currently, currently sneaked. Okay, I'm going to quick save. Now, hopefully he's asleep in his house. Um, there we go. 
I'm glad that lockpicks don't weigh anything. There we go. So hopefully he's asleep. Because if he's not, he's going to be like, Oi! Yeah, he is. Okay. I'll pick, try and pick his pocket as well, just to like level up. I don't know if I'll need to steal anything, though. The key to, the key to his house. Let me try stealing his money. Oh! He stole his money. More importantly, the letter. Let's read this letter. Old friend. Need all the iron ore you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know that mine isn't as rich as it used to be, but I will pay extra. Blood. I don't see how that relates to conspiracy. There's a war going on and he's a smith. Of course he needs extra iron. But there we go. That's that. Um, I don't know how... Uh, yeah, the tiny amount of pickpocketing. you got to do a lot of pickpocketing. That might be like one of the skills that we kind of maybe get people pay people to train us in because it's not something i typically think to go around doing on any given day if that makes sense um okay and his bloody door's locked as well okay i'm gonna break into his house Be like Shh, it's I have to do this so they so the conspiracists don't uh conspirators don't uh think that I'm working with you. There you go, I don't know a little uh left right there. There you go. We don't need to rob him. Or maybe we could rob him. Oh. Techless in here as well. Why why are these people in here? Oh my god, look at all the stuff he's got. A flawless garnet. We could pinch that. Uh, stone goods there. Let's take the gold. Yeah, I think I think you, the chances. I think you've got a very very low chance of um, failing a pickpocket if it's on if you're fully sneaked, and it's on and you're not detected, and it's on somebody who's asleep. I think it's very hard to fail. Um, but still, I think the more items you take from somebody's inventory, or maybe even the more value that the items have, um, or maybe both, the more likely they are to wake up. So. Um, We'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of friends with this guy. That's why he's letting me take his uh, his gold there. Random, and he's poison as well. Yeah, he's all in. Oh. Oh, there you go. You can see the percentage. You see the items in the bottom uh, under the uh, the item description there. Crushed on 50% ch chance. So I guess I've just got freaking lucky then. And I've not woke them up. So Wheel of Pain amulet. What is that? That sounds weird, doesn't it? Maybe he's the one. He's the conspirator. Now, if I just wake him up in his house in the middle of the night... After I take his gold, the sat on the side, his his pocket change. Um, he'd probably be cool with me. He won't. He's not gonna kick off. Be mindful. My maid Tikla has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgear. Yeah, cause she's part of the conspiracy, right, buddy? Here's Lord's letter. What's this? Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. I don't know. That's code, no, bro. Not spying, but it's clear the Empire is making Lord smith up more swords and armor for them. Yeah. Good work. Take this. Oh, he gave me 500 gold for it. Okay. Uh, so what next, buddy? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Of not. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth 
is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. Oh. He is also a vampire. Wow. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. So, your dead ancestor, who's a vampire, has come back from the dead. Okay, and you're... Uh, a stinky bee. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me, Red Mage. Um, you want me to find the ward stone? No, it's too late for the ward stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. A vampire? I don't think so. I can probably handle it. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, if what you tell me is true. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Stay safe. Right, okay. I don't know how this any of this relates to the conspiracy. Right, okay, way up in the mountains. Bloodlet throne. A nest of vampires. And most vampires are just people who have vampirism. They're not necessarily... You know, super scary, but some of them are. Um, now, I feel I should wrap this up. Okay. Actually, what I want to do first, I want to do the kill the lead, the bandits at Shatterstone Mine. That's what I want to do first. Because that should allow me to buy a home in Falkreath, which will allow me to stash stuff if I need to stash stuff. Um, okay, so it's directly south, basically. Okay, we can do that. Beautiful. Get up there? We can. Yeah, very, um... Lovely forested, but also very, uh, rocky and uneven terrain here. In a, a Falkreath hold. It should just be a little bit along here. Okay, doesn't look like there's anyone outside. Right, okay, some bandits here. They've uh, done work before the Jarl, but now he wants a shot of them, which, I mean, I kind of love him. But, um, who are we to question? We are mercenaries. We want the work. Let's uh, get to it. Okay, well, it should uh, it should be lit though. That's one thing. Sounds like there's a few of them. I think I don't want to fall down there. Maybe. Okay, so they're, again, they're, they're industrious bandits. They're bandits that also are miners. I've been told to kill their leader. I assume that means they're all going to be aggressive as soon as they see me. Yeah, bandits. Okay, so I'm going to try and just fight them properly. Um, if it comes to it, I will... Um, 
I will very much, uh, I'm happy to turn into a werewolf and just eat them all. Ah! Good ear you've got there, Red Mage. Very nice, sir. But yeah, let me see if I can uh, be clever here first. Wow, that guy's not dead. I don't think put an arrow on his head like that, and he's uh. Something smells foul. Okay. Oh, there we go. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. I need to <laughs> get the heels up in here. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Yeah, come at me then. I'm right. I'm stood right here, bro. Oh. Can't wait to count out your coin. Oh, I've got all cash arrows, eh? Can't pick up. Oh. Well, la -dee da. I see what he did there. There we go. This says little two there. Orc, orcish arrow action. Steel arrows. I don't need to feel like that, boy. Don't need that at all. Right, so you know what the time it is now, don't you, folks? Well, firstly, let's... Uh, get a restoration heal. I need a better healing spell. Um, that is, um, that is the thing. And Winnie the Pooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, excellent. There we go. So, um, we want to make corpse. Let's get the, uh, tough guy with the war hammer. Go, buddy. No, I assume the rest of the friends didn't hear any ruckus. Come on, Mary, let me take care of you. Maybe just this one. It's like asking another one of his bandit friends to marry him. Oh, okay. Oh my God, they've got a whole. Crazy operation going on down here. Okay, what I will do though, just not confuse myself. Um, let's only have one uh, marker on at a time. That might make more sense. Give me your shrooms. Okay, let's try through this way first. seen us. Is this actually a dead end anyway? Is this not it? Okay. I know I heard something. Kill! Hush. Hush, Frederick. You get to kill in a moment. Time to end this little game. You okay, it's seen us. Will make for an excellent story. Oh, wow. See how I just jumped down then? That's pretty cool. 
Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, Frederick. There we go. Ooh, Orcish Great Sword. Uh, that's not quite as good as our uh, Ethume Sword. Although I do need to recharge it if I want the uh, ability to uh, the magic enchantment on it. So the way enchanted weapons work in uh, Skyrim, folks, if you don't know, it has like a charge and each use, each strike with it you get the effect, but it uses a bit of that charge. And when it's empty, you essentially don't have that magic effect on it anymore. You can still use the weapon. It's not a problem. Uh, and then that's when you need to use soul filled soul gems to recharge it, if you are so inclined. Um, until I find maybe what I'm dead set on sticking with, I'm less inclined to necessarily do that. I just like... Because that sword is still good without the effect, effect on it. Um, the Thuum Fadon, yeah. Yeah, 60 points there. Yeah, the charge is almost gone on it. But it's still better than any other two-handed weapon we've seen to date, so... It's all good. Gold ore? Yes, please. It was murder. I mean, I don't know. I don't say, uh, Red Mage. You got to do what you got to do, buddy. You know what I'm saying? More gold ore. Nice. Okay. Um, excuse me, Frederick. It's obviously not that way. Which means we can go down there or go through this way. Okay, let's have a look down. Yeah, okay, this is this is just a pit. <laughs> Silly me. I'm like, ooh, this mysterious place. No, there's nothing here. Um, it's like literally nothing here. It's just Frederick getting in my way. Okay, we're going this way. All right, copper all, iron all. Nice. I respect their uh, their work ethic. You think most bandits would be like just lazy and just be like, oh, what's going on, boss? Oh, no banditry today. Oh, that's well, not doing anything. Or rather, no boundary today. Get in, get mining in the mine. Okay, I can respect that. Oh, lucky! It's rare that uh, you get your lock pick in uh, without having to move it like that. Okay, empty barrel. Don't really don't need to be looking in there. Um, all right, heavy braces. I'll take the lock picks and the gold. And the potion. I need to look in there again. Ah, shrooms. Uh, seems to be the extent of it. Oh, frost miriam. Nice. Well, um, it is it, a great sword, though. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, it's nice. I think with the mods we've got, the loot seems to be good. In vanilla Skyrim, there's definitely a problem where you can find too much good stuff too soon. And, uh, and it's thematically sometimes inappropriate. Like, you just have, like, a random bandit, and they'll have, like, the greatest sword that was ever made. And you're like, what? why, why do you have that? You, there's no reason for you to have that. Um, so I think that's definitely helping. For example, one, just one little example. We look at our magic rings. 
this ring of minor archery. We found that near the beginning of the game. 15% more damage from bows. Don't know if that includes crossbows, but bows certainly. Um, with, that's the only magic ring we found the whole game so far. You know what I mean? And we're like, we're level, what, 20? Almost level 22. So, you know, if you're in vanilla Skyrim, you would have found like 10,000 already. Oh, it's Frederick. You just, you just going to attack that, bro. He is, isn't he? Okay, that's not uh, what I wanted there, but can I get a few arrows in here? <laughs> bro, you look a pincushion. Nice. That's always nice using uh, archery in combat like that. I do enjoy it. It's just usually... Yeah, there's no vats. Let's put it that way. Vats, of course, anyone who's unfamiliar with um, the uh, system in Fallout where you can actually kind of pause time because obviously there's more guns in it and than melee. And they wanted to have a system where you could... Uh, make it feel more like an rpg so you can kind of like pause time spend action points to uh let the game shoot at targets for you very cool system um definitely a must i feel for fallout 3 even if you can kind of play fallout 4 a bit more like a first person shooter um but obviously that's not a thing in skyrim so it can be tricky to uh land some uh, decent shots Except we got your zombie, Frederick, fighting for you. And it's short range like that. Very cool. So I don't know how like, the enmity works. Does like the AI, like does that bandit just attack the nearest enemy? Because sometimes they've completely ignored ignored your zombie and like gone for uh, got they go for you instead. But I don't know. Take advantage where we can. Oh, here we go. Getting deeper on it here. Red Mage, they literally never do that with any game. I hope they've learnt a lot for Elder Scrolls 6 and looked at the modding community and kind of understood what is considered a good thing and what's not all right they're down here oh hello buddy oh wow <laughs> let's try that again shall we nice I kind of feel bad murdering in cold blood like that, but also I don't because uh, I don't care. How do we get down there from up here? And down here. Okay, I'll see. And then presumably that's further on into the mine. Or maybe it's not. Maybe this is further down into the mine. Me have a look up here first. Okay, well, that's nothing, so that's answered that question, hasn't it? Yeah, no, they should. They should really, uh, or at least like learn from everything that, that they've done. Be like, okay, I'll see. this is how we made our previous game. And this is what the modern community's done. And this, and the modern community's way is better. So let's just take that for ourselves. And there's no reason not to. But, um... I don't know. I don't, so, Red Mage, I don't know whether it's, um... Wishful, uh... Wishful thinking? Or there's some reality to it. Since, of course, um... Microsoft, Xbox now own uh, Bethesda, don't they? So... That's definitely going to have an influence, and let's hope. Because if you look at like um, 
a might you know a microsoft an xbox first you know exclusive first you know um first party game halo series gears of war you know anything like that rarely do they have bugs rarely do they not function properly then again those games are very the scope of them isn't really the same as like a an open world rpg like a, uh, a bethesda game is it so i don't know we'll have to wait and see yeah no i mean if yeah if you look at say uh like the doom games they were not buggy but because you know they were very uh very straightforward weren't they and what they are so maybe it's inevitable but they could do themselves a great number of favors by i think most of the community would rather you know if you said oh do you want do you want a bug bug thesda uh version of elder scroll 6 is three years from now or do you want a literal embodiment of perfection a f completely perfectly functioning uh elder scroll 6 10 years from now i would choose the latter some people will be like, no, I need it now. I don't care that it's jank. Give me the non-jank version, please. I, I will wait any amount of time for it. But, um, you know, different. everyone's different, aren't they? Uh, and, you know, I'll t I'll, something just occurred to me. I think we'll, once we're, um, we've cleared out this, uh, this little area here. Let's get this iron on. He was, uh, mining. We might actually go through and uh, nom down all these bandits just to uh, level up our werewolf a bit. Okay. Ooh, Nordic Moonstone Shield. A la di da. Very valuable. Let's take that. Okay, this isn't further into the mine, is it? Is this? No. I can hear someone's still working away out there. Yeah, I didn't think it was down here. What did I miss? What if I failed to see? Yeah, it's like through there, but it's obviously not directly through there, is it? Oh, there you go. Just the path just turns back on itself. I'm such a genius. Try to god sometimes. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There'll be like 32 times it. Yeah, you can imagine Todd Howard coming on stage. And he's like, I know I lied to you folks. I know I told you it had 16 times the detail, and it didn't. I know I told you that it just works. And it didn't. But you just kind of have to put that to one side. And this time, understand that I'm absolutely telling the truth. Because this time it has 32 times the detail. And it this time it really just works. And then, like, the thing is, if you do that, Todd. Um, and it's true. You'll absolutely redeem yourself. And, uh, and God will have a, a little place for you by his right hand. If you do that and then you lie again, Todd, uh, people are going to be coming after you to kill you. Um, and I'm sure you've got money and security and a nice house and stuff out of the way. But you, be careful, bro. Be careful. I'm not. I've got better things to do in my time. But people, people be crazy. And they don't like little liars. Todd Howard. Yo, Seven! How you doing, my dear? Are you well? Yes, it's going very well. Uh, <laughs> Swoop and poop, yeah. I've got, you got to watch out for him, Red Mage. Don't believe... You know, it's a... Uh, fool you once, shame on you. Uh, fool, fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, it's like if anyone allows themselves to be uh, lied to by Todd Howard again, then it's like on you, it's on you isn't it? You see what I'm saying? It's like, you know, give everyone the benefit of doubt, but when someone's proved themselves to be a liar, it's on you to stay away from them, isn't it? Um, how you doing, Seven? You're all right. Just wandering by. Yeah, because I know you're not a massive fan of Skyrim, are you, Seven? 
but uh for yourself my dear let me just say um to, for me to give the game a fair shake um to uh you know if the producers were choosing it we uh we're gonna do it all this week and we're probably gonna spend next week on it as well um after that it will be dropping down to one stream a week uh which will um probably be on fridays so we'll be doing some going back to our usual variety streaming at the isnib show um from then on uh monday to thursday um uh, i don't want to mention not necessarily what's coming up uh in the future but it will be things are very 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 different to skyrim um no of course of course and that's the thing i don't want anyone to be here just for me or just for the community but um you know, it's because it's, I've said this many times. It's both, isn't it? You know, you can you have your favourite person in the world, and they're, and they're doing something that doesn't interest you. You'd be like, oh, okay, I'll see you later. Or you could have someone you're not really like keen on, but they're like presenting or doing something that is of a deep interest to you. You'd be like, oh, okay, well I don't like this guy, but you know what they're talking about, or what they're doing is very interesting to me. Obviously, you want the balance, don't you? Oh, yeah, you, you, you think, uh, Seven, you're always here in spirit, my dear. And I'm, I'm, I am always here if you ever need me. So don't forget that. Um, but yeah, just to let you know, that's what's uh, coming out. That's probably what we're going to do. Um, I don't want to put a bucket there. It's leaking. Your mine is leaking. Here we go. Is he even mining? Is he doing some repairs or something? I ain't doing chisel now. 2.5 times damage from sneak attack. Very nice. Um, they got some pet wolves up in here. What's the... What? What? Uh... Let me switch to our uh, steel arrows. A lot less damage, but got more of them. Oh, actually, unless they were, unless she was uh, jamming on that there, I don't know. It sounds like they got pet wolves. Maybe wolves they were trying to keep out of here. Maybe. You haven't been much around you. You're sleeping a lot, have you, Seven? Oh, bless you. Bless you, my dear. Uh, is there a particular reason for that? I'm just feeling very sleepy recently. But speaking of that, I guess a dead wolf. There's clearly one somewhere that's, um... Alright, should we head up or down first? There's a lot more up. Let's head down first. Alright, we're gonna go come kill you in a minute, Mr. Wolf. Okay, there's nothing down here. Very well. Sounds like weird sex, does it? Uh, Scotty. Okay, I'll, I'll take your, um... I'll take your word for that, bro. <laughs> now, we've all been there, but... We've all, uh... Had that different experience of that, haven't we? Clearly around the next corner. Just dive in here quick. Take this stuff flying around. I wonder if wolves broke into the mine from the outside. I guess, and they've been dealing with it. Hence why that gate was barred.
close now, aren't you? Don't know, I'm here to put you out of your misery. Yeah, that's why they left these traps around. Be any closer, my god. Um, it's going through a sleepy phase as long as you're right, seven. Uh, you can go back down, uh, and sorry, you can go down and back up the stairs twice without having to stop at the top landing and collapse. That's good. Progress, baby steps, seven. Baby steps. People, uh, don't realize that they're like, ah, oh, I want a thing, uh, I can't get that thing straight away. Uh, let me just give up. You know, so I feel like I have to be here for you guys just to be like, you know. Now, look, Seven says, is, isn't is it? But you're never going to be a big streamer because you give a shit. Which is uh, <laughs> mutually, uh, mutually, uh, in it's an exclusive, exclusive. M yeah, mutually exclusive from uh, being a big streamer. Yeah. But I have to remain here to show you, uh, you, know, you know, otherwise, I guess. And do things our way. Don't worry about the other guys doing their thing their, their way. Um, Sniper Wolf stage in Metal Gear Solid 1. My god. Um, Red Mage, it's uh, been too long. I wish we'd get on the Metal Gear Solid series at some point. Um, but yeah, utmost respect there. I'm seven. Oh, it's right there. I was doing, but there we go. Ain't doing nothing now. Shut it in the butt. Ooh. And they got a nice amount of iron ore they've been digging up. Um I'd feel bad if I wasn't a, you know, just some like power hungry mercenary scumbag. Huh? Did you hear something? <sighs> oh. There we go. Damn oh damn, did he get did he die already? Right, Frederick, where are you at? I know Frederick's come with me. Oh my god, we need to uh Get more space around here. Nice boots. You got there. Nice boots. Yes. Yeah, come on, bro. Are you right there, bro? Are you right? So much easier to rob when you're nothing. Oh, oh dear. I'm about to die. Oh no. Oh no. Too many? Okay. Let's try it again. With skill. Let's try that again with some skill. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. Back in your day, Seven. Back tonight, you're some old lady. I gotta find our. Uh, Get to our little wolfy friend again. It wasn't, that, it wasn't too far away. Yeah, I don't know. Frederick then. He didn't die, did he? I think he just got caught up somewhere. Maybe he just has some difficulty navigating all this uh, weirdness that we're going through. That's, that's not how we do that. Oh yeah, ladders. Ladders, they're good. 
make good things and stuff. Here we go. So may maybe it was actually like their pet or something. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. But you never know. No, no sneak attack, but never mind. So be it. Right. Okay. Let's do this with a bit more skill this time. Oh, oh, oh. Almost dumped my coffee all over the place, huh? Mmm. Excellent. I'll look forward to that one, Scotty. Do remind me near the time. So, uh, yeah. And uh, he's often said it's his, like, favourite... One of his favourite series. Which I respect, but, um... I've, I'm not overly familiar with a lot of the series. There we go. That's Bell. No. No, I just killed your friend. There's nobody here. You think there'd be somebody here? No, your friend just died of, uh arrow to the head. That was definitely not somebody who did that. Uh, what's that, seven? Record knitting lessons. That's like a YouTube video of like, hey, I'm going to teach knitting 101. You should definitely do it if, you, you know, if there's a demand for it. If you, if, if, you definitely do it if there's something you would enjoy. Um, yeah, it has to. It's, that's, that's requirement, Red Mage. He's not allowed to not. Right, so I think my um zombie gone. Let's uh get that guy. Come then. Are you? My god, so much for my... Uh... Look at this bro, he's literally just... I'm gonna... He's just like, I'm just gonna... Just get up in your grill. There you go, that's a... Uh... A perfect example of uh, the <laughs> uh, the game uh, being jank. It's, yeah, it's not even a uh, um. Oh, jeez! I don't think I want to just throw myself down there, do I? You hear me? Dead. Maybe. Okay. Well, we still got an archer around here. You'll kill me if you have to. Yeah, you will. The answer to that. Ow. Killing will. What will killing do? Killing gonna do something. Bless. Oh, there he was. He got killed. Makes sense. At least, he, at least he tried. Okay, well, let's, um... There's 
too powerful. Oh, okay. I'll take you then instead. Oh, he was a bit. Well, never mind. I don't really notice. Um, not even at 101. Like knitting 90 <laughs> remedial classes. We'll do it. Knitting for knuck knuckleheads. Yeah, if you could teach me to knit uh, seven, then, you know. You should, um, you should do it. If Only if you want to. And if that seems like a fun thing for you to do. All right, I'll take that orcish bow. This is re relatively valuable. Anyway, moving on. Well, we're going to have... Uh, Plenty of corpses to chow down on once we've cleared this place out. Oh, they got, they got like a little underground village thing going on. I don't know how to get up there. But we shall see. Uh, a, freaking, a little water wheel. A little water wheel. A water wheel. Water wheel, mate. Water wheel. Oh, Heaven's like, please use tease. You scum. You heathen. <laughs> what? What? Damn, just leaving money lying around. Crazy people. Oh no, no, I'm just making a mess. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think I really need the wine. Not really uh, worth much. Oh, expert. Doubt I'll be able to get into this. Um, let's see if I can uh, got enough magic for the my spell here. I do alteration increase to thirteen. Oh wow! I don't know why that made such so much noise there, but never mind. I eh? will take it. Allows me to get in here. Um, <laughs> Damn. Trying to find the sweet spot. That's always been. Oh, there we go. There we go. Close. Let's uh, move it that way a little bit. Oh, even closer. Okay. Let's try about there. Boom. There we go. Yeah, who's making these lock picks? Seven. A, a jank. Ooh, gold sapphire ring. Nice. And some gems and some money. Not much money, but... Does not matter. Um... Oh, whoa! Where did you come from, bro? Yeah, you want some? Go. 
on fire, are you? God, I'm about to die. Die already, he's going to take your stuff. <laughs> yes, we can do about it. You're going to run away? Oh, no, yeah, look, look at him. All right, it's... Uh, God damn it. For pity's sake, don't kill me. Then he goes and kills us. He's fighting in that cramped position now. Should not have pulled out. Should not have pulled out our big sword there. Okay, at least I know to be a bit more careful there. Right, um. Okay, we're not too far beyond. Oh my god, getting our ass kicked in this game. Which I guess is, uh, you know, before the best. Um, now, I guess I could go down there. I don't know, I want to. Ah, Shatterstone Crown. I bet that's where the uh, the second area of the mine, where the, the boss it will be. Yeah, Ryan's uh Josh, Ryan's a, a cra crazy awesome dude. He's um Oh. Oh weird. It's a separate load screen, was it? So we went down there. <laughs> um he's uh been a massive supporter of me. Um I wanna say for like no particular reason. I guess he uh he kind of appreciates and understands what we're doing here. Um that's just we just notice. But he does more often than he needs to, chuck around gift sobs. But yeah, you go. You got a little chocobo now, Jesh. Um, I'll say I'll don't. Need to, I'd say just say this. Please look after it. But um, you know, if you're in an emergency situation and you're about to starve, then fair enough. Kill and cook your chocobo. But you know, try to avoid doing that. Don't just eat it. You know, for no reason, just because you're peckish or whatever. Um, what's this? The chief found the cabin door unlocked this morning. Was not pleased. This happens again. It's going to be somebody's head. From now on, see Olaf topside for keys if you want to get back in. Anyone who has a problem with the new rules can sleep with slaughter fishers. Okay. I wanna, before you look at all this stuff, I want to deal with the bro that's up here first. That's giving me so much grief. What was that? Gonna split your belly like an old woman's purse. All right then. All right then. You're going to come out here and fight me in the open, though, bro, if you want to do that. You want to do that? You want to do that, buddy? Killing you will make for an excellent story. He just ran around the corner. He just ran up here, has he? He has as well. Okay. What? How did you do that? Dragonborn. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? God, he's quite tough. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Dover Keen. Dover Keen. Tra la la. Dover Keen. Uh. Scotty's like, oh, I ate. I ain't that. He just go. <laughs> oh, that's not Oh, yeah, I guess he was just an extra tough dude, was this guy. And also an asshole. Uh, 
Okay, and then that gets that heads back around here. Damn. I really tagged her, didn't I? Um I'll go back down there and check out those, those things in a second. I just want to... Uh, this is what the exit here. Or not the exit, but... The entrance to the next uh, section. Where it's... At least the, the marker is directing us to the boss. So I assume it goes into... The same area. So it says crown. Oh, readout. Okay. We've got two different areas. Okay, so that's where we need to go to kill the boss. Oh, there you are. There's me little zombie. Okay. Let me, uh... Check in this direction first. Alright, at least we're not going to be disturbed now. Your potions don't easily break. Um, nah, does it? Does it, Seven? Excellent. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't, I'm not uh, as well built as you, uh, the Seven, so <laughs> I can't, uh, Maybe it doesn't have the same effect for me, but uh, who knows? You never, you know, you never know. I've never been in a situation where I feel that would be uh, the way to go about things, but you know, doesn't mean it's not, does it? All right, let's try this again. God, it makes so much noise. <laughs> what crazy spell allows you, you know, lowers the level of uh, locks in the area, and it's like boom. You like, know, uh. Not exactly stealthy, is it? <laughs> what are we doing here, folks? Jeez, Louise. Um. Boom. Hairy moobs. Yeah, have you ever found that, uh, Scotty? You're like, yo, check these. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Red mage. That'll get me arrested. That'll absolutely get me arrested. Do you know what I mean? It's not... It's not the way to go about any anything. Um, right, so I'm going to... Um, as these are technically different areas. Although it actually shouldn't... I don't know if it will matter. We'll learn a few things. I want to... Do a little save just in case this doesn't go the way I want it to. So, idea number one is being a werewolf, you can transition from area to area and you don't lose your werewolf form. Idea two, all these dead bodies in this cave are not going to disappear once I zone into a different area. So let's find out. Let's check the, the crown first before we go to the redoubt. Which is basically outside. Oh. Hello. Well, zombie comes with. Wow, you're tough, bro. Arrow to the back of the skull. Turns around and pulls his sword out. Respect. This is a whole bloody thing. Look like a hidden valley in the mountain. God, I see I see them everywhere. Let me scout the area a little bit. Oh, 
Right, so there's one guy there. One guy there. Two at the fire. I think that's it. Oh, one guy out the top there. Hmm. How best to go about this? I'm not entirely sure. Well, not, not do that for a start. Nope, not miss for a start. They're like, what was that? Somebody shot an arrow. Let's just look in the direction the arrow went. Rather the direction in which the arrow came. Yeah, I'll definitely need more stamina. That needs to be worked on very, very soon. He's like, what? Where did it come from? Oh, they've seen us. Almost. Almost. God, there's freaking loads of them. This could be, um... This could be kind of a problem. What was that? Yeah. Just shooting my arrow road like that, just missing, is probably not... for the best. Uh, the zombie will kick off in a second. Oh yeah. No, I've really not. Oh dear. I think mean, I've got some from my uh right, from yeah, these got these two over here. Oh my god. Well thank you for the arrows you sent in my way. Yeeted! Uh, Sphinx! Slick mate, welcome back, sir. Uh, how was your meeting? You need a nap from it. How you doing, Sphinx? You alright? Hope you're well, my dear. You thought your holidays, you don't know. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, I feel. Not that I know, either, but... Okay, let's give that... Another try, but we're gonna use sk skill this time. Do you know what that is? Do you know about that? Oh, I shot her right in the tip and killed her. Oof, I felt it. Oh, yeah, it's going well, is it? Uh, the Sphinx, excellent. Yeah, almost December. What? We, hush, yes. Hush, Red Mage. What are you talking about, bro? I don't need to hear that. I don't need to hear that at all. No, nobody's here. God, yeah, stamina gets wrecked drawing a bow. To quite an extreme extent. Oh, zombies kicking off someone. Can do. Hello? Who's there? Must be my <laughs> Okay, we're getting a bit. Glitched out down there, but it's alright. Let's soon get this guy. Nah. I'm not very good at leading with the bow. I need him to be standing still, really. They've all kind of settled down a little bit. I'm wondering about. Um, well, Matt is all going to kick off as, as soon as I take one of them out again. Let's get a 
one that's sort of a bit off out of the way, but well, this guy would be ideal. Just stay still for a second. Wow, what was that? <laughs> it's on beach. <laughs> God damn it, Red Mage. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to bleach too. Yeah, no, no. It <laughs> you had an extra letter in there, buddy. we go that's what i'm talking about what was that i don't know i'm just gonna hide here hello who's there oh they found the zombie what's the matter that's the last of them there you go that's what i want you to think you thought it was a zombie you didn't realize it's a zombie i'm just a soldier who didn't want to die Sometimes I think we deserve these miserable lives of ours. Wow! Kill him, he talks to me like that again. Get him while he's sleeping. That the woman has yep. lied. Sorry, like God. that. Should have known she was lying. Lying little harlot. Lying little harlot? That's not good. You don't want one of those. Oh, it's still singing while. Wow. Like, oh, one of us got killed again. What to do about this? Anybody there? No, nobody's here. Got some nice sneak skills up. Just sat here. That's good. We got a level up. We'll get that in a minute. Just that, you know, you can kind of uh, use a, a level up to your advantage. You get like a free heal. Like in a lot of uh, RPGs, when you level up, you get all your hit points get uh, restored. I guess I was just hearing things. Ah! I guess I was just hearing things. The fact that I, our friend, a friend, got uh, sniped from behind. That's fine, isn't it? It's no big deal. Uh, I guess I was just hearing things. Hey, he was a bit tougher. That didn't kill him. But now they're probably going to be on to me. He's just like an arrow and he's alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's one thing for someone, your buddy just dropped down dead. But if you've just been shot by an arrow, you're like, huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I need to get better at aiming though. I wonder if I'm still sneak though. Oh, I inflicted a head injury on him. That's good. That's always nice. Is somebody there? No, the arrows just. God is just raining arrows down on you. <laughs> what was that? Absolutely nothing. If I can just. Stand up. That's really bad for him now. Huh? Almost. Not quite.
I know I heard something. <laughs> you have an arrow shot into you, buddy. Oh, he's right there. I'm about to fall off this platform, though. This uh, rock platform. You know what I'm saying? Dangerous about, I can tell. Over here. Be cautious. Oh. You will make for an oh, god damn. That hurt. Sorry. No. Oh no. my god. After all that. I think I did. I think I've gone a tagged one. I, uh. I think I did do a little save, didn't I? Yeah. My God, sorry about that, guys. Just uh, far weaker than I, th I realize I am. Dangers about, I can tell. Be cautious. I'll have your hand on the fight. Fighting as only. I should have, um. I clearly should have used, uh. At last. Okay, and she's just not Damn. reacting to that. You'll pay for this. Oh, have they found me? Oh. Oh. I heard yeah. Let's see what you've got. Go ahead, try and fight back. You're ready to die today. Maybe. I'll scarf you into pieces. <laughs> Jeez, I hope I'm not getting stuck on scenery. I'm, a, I'm definitely a fan of that. Um, here we go. Let's uh, get that bra up for a minute. I don't know how useful it'll be. He looks like he's pretty strong. Um. Uh. No, that's so firstly, Slipmake, that's not, uh, the closed captions are not part of Twitch. That's a separate plugin for OBS. And it's not very good. Me just speaking normally, uh, you'll get all sorts of jank, uh, coming through in the closed captions. <laughs> uh, here we go. Alright, bro, you were tough. You yield? You die. Ain't no yielding, buddy. This is the end. This is the end of the end. There we go. I managed to deal with them. Now that guy was uh, kind of chonky, wasn't he? Let's drink his ale. Oh, right, there we go, folks. There's always a uh, there's always a way around it. Okay, he's too powerful. My God. I'll get you then, I guess. I'll take your uh, take your arrows and your booze. There we go. We dealt with them. He said jank, did it? <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, sometimes it picks things up. So it's, part of it is because, of course, my enunciation is not great. Um, I've got a weird accent. And... Um, Oh, 
Oh, wow. I just, we're drunk now. Cool. Not against that. Have a little drink now and then. Um, but I think the, uh, the actual plugin is, you know, it's, it's hard to make something like that. Voice recognition that's like perfectly on point, you know. Is diff it's not an easy thing to do. Right, Orcish Sword. Yeah, I think we can leave that. Right, I guess we don't want to be heading down there. Especially not when we're drunk. Right, okay. What the whole thing they've got uh, going on here. Well, I'm starting to say Rob's though. <laughs> we have a little gander at least. Yeah, I don't feel throwing myself down there is probably a great idea. Master lock. I don't know what fancy stuff they've got in there. If anything, they might not. Oh, there's no way I can get in there, even with my uh with my little spell to uh my uh la latch latch catch, is it? What's it called? Yeah, latch latch crack. Latch crack. Uh, also, don't forget about the level up, folks. Um, health for now. I want to round off health to about 300. And then we'll uh, take it from there. Um, Alright, what should we put our point into? Look at this structure now. That's dual casting, which I don't usually do, but let me get those later. But let's have a look at our uh, choices here. So, Ionized Path, Shock Spells, 20% uh, more powerful. Ice Spells, more powerful. Right, okay. Okay, we're mostly using Flames at the minute, so let's get Combustion for now. That's a reasonable choice. It's a nice little backup if we run out of stamina and you like... Got no stamina in this fight, but we do have a bit of magic, so let's just flame them a little bit. Huh? Oh! Yeah. Well, there he was. It's no, uh... Yeah, you, you come out here. You fight my, uh, zombie for a minute, mate. I said, go get him. Get him. Oh no, she got got. Um Come on. Come down here then, buddy. Show me Bandit Chief. Not the actual bandit chief though, unfortunately. Ah, mine cabin key. There we go. I expect that's going to get us in there. So he's the... I guess he's the leader of this area. He's not the leader that we're uh, here to um, find, though. Gold ore and gold. Right, here we go. We, um... Use it on this though. Alright, nice alteration skill up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't need to. It, it uh it unlocks that as well. Oh, a black pearl. Let's nom that. Okay, so I think that's all of this area here. Why is that even locked? 
I mean, you don't get through that little gap there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Either way, doesn't matter. Wow, is there any, even anything in here? Ah, Shatterstone Mine Cabin Key. Well, we already went into the cabin. So we picked the lock, didn't we? So, random. Ah, okay, so I think if you don't have the, the chops to, uh, you know, your lock picking skill's not very good, you would have to come through the mine, come out here... Kill that guy, get that key, use that key to get in there to get that key to go back to the other place we're about to go back to. Alright, quite, quite a little dungeon we got going on here. Um, Sphinx, thank you for the hydration. I'll probably need that, my dear. It's been a minute. Um, I guess we'll get ourselves a new zombie. did on time half six already my god excellent thank you sphinx right yeah this gate here we could not get through unless you pick the lock which we did this all uh all adds up and then this would allow us to get up here and then um yeah the bodies are still here so hopefully when we get into this area they'll show uh they shall uh remain and we'll do like a run through the werewolf and get so we can get some level ups for it seems like a pain to transform into the werewolf eat some corpses and then you know, change back and then keep transforming, etc. Right, got a few guys around here. This could be a uh, tricky, but let's do what we can. Did you? Did you? Oh my god. All of them. I fought worse than you. Thank you. Right, I don't have uh, any stamina at the moment. Magic. You are ready. No, this is not going well. Maybe it will. Oh, balls. <laughs> That's, how it's done. Uh, That's how it's done, apparently. God, there's a lot of them. Okay, we'll try a, a slightly different approach to that. We won't just shoot that guy through there immediately. We'll, uh... God, there's loads of them. Jipper jabbering away at each other. Poison is me. See how he likes that. The guards think they're better than all of us. Right. Let's see, as soon as I kill one of these, it's um and that we can just oh, keep all the span in that stinking jail. Rather die than give myself up. Take your best shot, you dog. Come on. Okay, well, I'm right here, buddy. You gonna stand there and look at me. Wow, here we go. We've got uh, You're a... Fool this is Bug Thester here for you folks. <sighs> that it? That your best? Bro, you've got like arrows in your face. Come on, killing you will make for an excellent story. <sighs> I think you just want to step down there, buddy, and come ours. 
Yeah, there we go. No one bests an orc. Apart from a red guard. Apart from AI. Apart from Bug Fester. Oh. oh my god, my zombie's not doing too much better. He's tough, tough old boy. There we go. <laughs> I, I can only apologise for that, folks. That's um. Well, I should have to apologise, but I can't I can't make him fight me. All he had to do is like walk down here. He could, he probably would have destroyed us, honestly. What? for. I don't know. I do wonder sometimes. I've got his buddy good though, didn't I? Oh my god. Right through the neck. Oh, they're, uh, they're doing quite well, these bandits, aren't they? What's this? Hands. The silver is worthless. Not true. How can silver be worthless? I thought we'd make a kill in fencing this stuff, but Skyrim is apparently awash with silver these days. Just nab the gold like Burn said. We're going to tell the chief. Uh, nothing. I'm just going to kill you all and take your stuff. Silver's not worthless. Silly people. Uh, Orcish Dagger. That's uh, fairly valuable. Oh, Elven Greatsword. Very nice, but not really a thing we need. Yeah, well, if you do, you think this silver's worthless, I'll take it. And your ingot. Weird eyes. Olaf and the dragon. We'll read the material for later. Alright, well, okay, that's um at least cleared those guys out. And we can back up into here to have a little bit of room to fight if we need to. This this band of bandits is the best thing you've ever been a part of. I guess that's just testament to a crappy life. But who are we to judge? Come on, marry me. Let me take care of the yard <laughs> and the city guard. Oh. Maybe just this one. That was clumsy. I need to... Oh wow, good job zombie. God, he's wrecking them. Hey, keep going. Well, la -de da very nice. <laughs> Sometimes I just get lucky, I guess.
that that's all of them yet though but we shall see good job though he did rather all right there oh tribunal mask gold armor rating zero that's kind of intimidating looking it's very valuable we'll take that uh, the orcish, next orcish bow will take, for sure. Oh, orcish gauntlets. Might wear those, I don't know. Uh, we'll take the dagger foot. So, dwarven greatsword, very nice, but we've got better. Okay, we've got guys down here. Let's see if we can ambush them from up top. Come on, marry me. Let me take care of you. <laughs> that a few times now. Bit of strife. I'll take that. Right, looks like they're quite a way uh, down there. <coughs> so hopefully I can see down from above here. Three. Small clan, all the more corn. How can I argue with that? That might be all of them. <sighs> no, the zombies like, yo, let's go, time to fight. <laughs> I guess zombies aren't too great at dodging arrows, though. That's the only issue. Oh. Oh, oh, the zombie's got a bow. Or, or crossbow, maybe. I don't realize that. God, he's doing all right. He's probably the best, best Frederick so far. Uh, don't worry, Frederick. We're uh, we're gonna make them die. Don't worry about that. Okay, what kind of weird setup they got going on here? Orcish war axe. Wonder how that compares to. 28 our um okay kind of uh same damage um oh, it's hard to say which one's better we'll guess we'll take it anyway just to consider let's see what you've got yes he has he's got i didn't even notice he's got a bloody crossbow and he's taking it to him <laughs> oh, there we go. Ow! Bro. Done well. Frederick. I'll uh, give you a... I'd think about giving you a pay rise, but I don't pay you, so... I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't about that. Thank you. I think that, that noise, is that a bloody Nern route or something below us? I 
And that's back into Shatterstone Mine. Okay, now things are... I guess this is technically the exit, then, if that's going there. Um... Now... I if I really want to... Aha! There's a ladder there, so we can fall down now. And there is an urn route. Nice! Don't know why, folks. Whoa! Oh my god, he's got shank for some freaky trap there. But it was fine. Nice. Okay. Um All right, so back up this way. Very precarious way to uh get around but you know they are crazy uh bandits they had quite the operation going here didn't they really right so their boss man should just be up here somewhere or boss woman either way sleeping in his tent he's not, he's done something he's asleep while all that's gone on oblivious okay all right come down here and fight buddy it's clearly gonna be tough isn't it oh my god too tough he's uh putting the yeet on us Frederick is at the minute, but oh, there we go. That's good enough for me. Shank. Oh, all right, Sid Gear. This better. He better give us a house. Or just sell us one after all that. My God. Right. Ban the bandit chief, finally. He was tough old bud boy, wasn't he? Uh, ooh. Steel enhanced crossbow. And steel bolts of shock. Explodes for 10 points of shock damage. And 250 gold. Okay, let me... Uh, so 41 damage compared to... 41 damage. 14. Well... 41 and 14. So, why is it... Is it what's enhanced about it? Exactly. I know, I guess you've got to assume it is superior in some level. It weighs one point more and is has a greater value. What... It, and the, the models, they go the same. Armour piercing. Hey, Menzu! Hello! Sorry to keep you waiting there, buddy. Um, excellent. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, how you doing, bud? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess we'll... There's no reason not to use it. It seems reasonable. But, um, here we go. So, um, let's just see what treasure we had in this little house there. In this little tent. Enough something, I'm sure. An onion. Let's eat that. It's 
you know, just eat onions, just, you know. That's what we do. Alright, plenty of, uh, wine. A treasure chest, most important. Right, mercenary gauntlets. They're pretty valuable. I mean, of Mara. Restoration spells and enchantments cost 10% less. That's pretty nice. Iron Spear of Burning. Burns the target of 10 points of damage. Cool. The Staff of Fury. Ah. Creatures and people attack randomly 30 seconds. But... Uh, probably low level targets. But it's valuable, so we'll take it. Money and uh, poison. Oh! Is it? It's funny that how he says that, um, Menzu, but it doesn't actually, uh... Doesn't actually tell you. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's enhanced. You like... What does that mean? Nobody knows. Right, okay. We've got a little, uh, little job to do. Um, I expect that's just another exit there to the mine. So we want to kind of like backtrack, really. And, uh, eat a bunch of, uh, chow down on a bunch of corpses. Try and level up our werewolf. Ah, okay. That'll be why then. How you doing, bro? You all right? You well. Where will take full damage? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Necessarily want to go that way yet. When I back up this way, I think it's just those three guys down here. I oh, know. I want to do there. I think we might actually have to go around. <laughs> we come back on ourselves, presumably. So we want to go to that first section of the mine anyway. Yeah, most dungeons, like, they lead you in, and then there's, like, near the end, there's, like, a, a different way to kind of exit. Oh, damn. I want to get that gold there. We'll come back for that. Let's go... Um Wait, can you, um, change in your beast form at will? I guess there is a bit of a cooldown, isn't there? But... Okay, that's not what I, uh, meant to do there. The left bumper? Change back? Oh, let's change back, actually. You just gotta wait an hour. Oh, okay, cool. Well, right, well, let's not worry about that, then. Let's, uh... There you go. This is like right back at the beginning, isn't it? Oh, you can't what you can't you look at your map either. That's uh, very uh confusing to me. I mean not that confusing, but it makes sense, so a werewolf wouldn't be able to pull out the map, but you know. I think you get you see what I'm getting at. Anyway. Oh. Oh, no, you hold it. There we go. Rather than just tap it. I think that was it. Oh, I think there is definitely a cooldown on it, isn't there? It's recharging. Okay, silly me. Okay, well, you know, we're, we're uh, learning as we go along. Right, so now we're... um. What's the recharge on it? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, okay, one minute. Literally one minute. Okay, I think we can stand around for one minute. I'll just, uh... Yeah, I, I thought there was um, a way to force it to change back. And there was. Just hold the same uh, power button rather than just press it. Doing on time. Okay. Um, just a little over two hours. Uh, should we got plenty to do. Yeah. Um... Right, we'll get plenty done. We'll tidy up everything around Falkreath that we've picked up so far. That would be uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's that little uh, bar in the uh, bottom right there, isn't it? Yeah, it seems I'm pretty sure I did it, Menzu, earlier. I'll, I'll double check in a minute. I mean, it, it, it might not be part of vanilla. It might be like part of the mod we're using that allows you to do that. Yeah, there we go. I'm just, um, just trying to level up the werewolf a bit. Not that I'm inclined to use the werewolf, like, massively, but... It, uh, of course it, um... Oh, we've got an extra perk already. Of course, it, uh... You know, just for the sake of, like, trying to level things up. Um... Regen. Uh. If you follow the beast blood, we're trading werewolf. But, like, there, no effect on vampires. Oh, God. Okay. Um... Movement speed. I probably want to get that. Uh, power attacks do more damage. Feeding heals you more. Oh, able to feed off undead. Savage feeding. My god. Yeah, we already looked at the lies, didn't we? These two are um, beast form attacks do an additional five points of bleed damage, healing you for the same amount. Very nice. Uh, power attacks and beast form can hit multiple targets in front of you. Nice. <clears throat> Uh, beast form lasts 50% longer and feeding extends the duration even more. Okay. Howl of Terror affects even dragons, forcing them to land for 30 seconds. Maybe werewolf is is the thing to do to fight dragons. I don't know. Um, Howl of the Hunt shatters uh, locks up to... Uh, oh, sorry. Were, uh, werebeast Howl of the Hunt shatters locks up to a depth level at close range. Eh. Uh, Lock picking as well. I don't care about that. Uh, um, where beast howl of brotherhood calls ice wolves or snow bears instead of oh my god. Okay, so a cool things to look at. Um, I'll think on that for a minute. Anyway, let's go get some more blood. Let's go eat some more flesh. They're all recently dead, so you know, nom away. Wait, did I, um... Okay, yeah, it's this way, isn't it? I think there's at least one guy down here we killed. In fact, it's only one, but... We're eating them all! In fact, in terms of perks, I guess the most important one would be the one that extends the duration of your beast form. Which was... No, not this side. Was it? Well, feeding off undead would definitely help as well. Okay, was it? One of these in the middle here. Rampage? Right, yeah, beast form lasts longer, so we want to pick one of these in the middle here. Uh, Two-handed power attacks, leaping attacks, and frenzy attacks, one-handed uh, standing power attacks, stun targets. Okay, let's just get that. And then that will next perk allow us to get rampage. 
Oh. That seems like a good one to me. I guess maybe you need to eat more, feast on more, feed on, feast, eat, feed on more corpses uh, to uh, get more XP each time. Like it progressively takes more, but who can say for certain? Not I. Oh. Nom. So yeah, Sphinx, we've had a bunch of past couple of days. It's been thunder and lightning, storming, raining loads. Um, but the, like, it's not dampened the heat. The heat is uh, still here at the minute, unfortunately. But yeah, it's... Um, trying to find that balance, isn't it? If it's hot, it's too hot. If it's cold, it's too cold. Uh. What are we going to do about it? I guess nothing is the answer. <laughs> I'm going to take it, but yes, yeah, Sphinx, it has uh, it's been crazy. It's been thundering uh, down your way as well. Rampage. Perfect. I wonder if you'd be, um. I wonder what the upgrade for that one is. We could actually could possibly even get that next. So if we've, like, if we come across a dragon and it's been a pain in the ass to fight, I could be like, you know what? You know what, uh, Mr. Dragon? We're just going werewolf on you. What do you think about that? And the dragon's like, oh, I wasn't. wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I'll be like, no, but yeah, here we are. Okay, that's uh, up to the boss's place, so we'll come back though in a second. All right, here we go. This is the uh, crown, the outside area, where we were doing that, that all that uh, sniping with our bow. several uh, people to eat out here. I don't know where they all were, but we'll find them. I thought I fought a bunch up there, but there's a couple of guys over here we killed, wasn't there? Unless I feel like maybe I've left it too long and they started despawning. Okay, well, she's there. Yeah, I thought I fought them uh, all at the top there. In my eyesight, it's not doing too great. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, we already got that guy. I fought a bunch over here. Uh, maybe the, the game's decided to uh, despawn them. Never mind. We, we got a couple worth coming in. <laughs> it's 
Sonic the Werehog. <laughs> <laughs> so the blue glow on him, uh, that is just his uh, the, our stone flesh we've got, got we'd casted before we turned. Oh. Oh, there we go. It's going to be a bit awkward there. Um, he's not really supposed to be blue like that. But uh, I guess it works, doesn't it? Looks like it's pretty intimidating. There we go. This is the boss's place. Major Melon Mountain Dew. My God. Menji, I've never had that. That sounds amazing. I know uh, if it's been a while, it definitely w would. Um, my brother gave me uh, a couple of cans of uh, Apple Tango the other day. And it's probably been like God, a long time since I've had any uh any soda. But yeah, something that's that um sweet and tasty. Very nice. We are feasting up in here, aren't we, Izzy? She's actually enjoying being a werewolf, I think. There you go, new perk available. Okay, let me um try this that affects dragons. Force dragons to land for 30 seconds. Um second uh the second tier of it, but I don't it doesn't, it doesn't say what it does, it just makes it more effective. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna keep feasting. Get them all eventually, I guess. Uh, it's no big deal, is it? Right, and that was the bandit chief where we started our uh, our little uh, a feast. <laughs> right, okay, so we're heading back down here. This um, this is where we'll take full damage. I know, let's get risk, risk it. No, maybe they don't take full damage at all. Actually, is there like a, a beast? I don't know. Um. Oh, do they? Do they, Menzu? That's not good. But how you doing, buddy? How you feeling? You know, I know the last time I spoke, we spoke, you were a little bit... You're not happy about things for a bit. Yeah, there you go. It worked. Yeah, you just hold the uh, power button. Um, you're telling me I can't mine that. Clearly, that's a gold ore vein. I can't mine that. Well, never mind, eh? These titties have been tough. Alright, let's uh, head back to Falkreath after all that. We got some decent loot. We got all sorts of decent loot. Um, I'm tempted to switch up to the Orcish Gauntlets. I mean, obviously, they don't have a, a magic effect on them, but an extra seven points of armor might not be terrible. Uh, or maybe I'll just not worry about it. Um, yeah, we've got bunch, bunches of stuff. All the gems. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, very happy with all that. Um, cool. Well, I guess, obviously, you don't want to fall down there. I guess it just links up anyway, but we shall see. Um, 
Oh, Dr. Pepper is like one of the, um, the Today overall. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Overall greatest sodas ever, isn't it? Right, we've just got one of their buddies just hanging around here. Just like that. Um... I don't know who this guy is or where he came from, but. How did you do that? Dover King, Dover King, I am the Dover King. I fought worse than you. Do this all day, buddy. So when you block like that, it, um, even if it does no damage, it messes their stamina up a little bit. There we go. Well, it does do damage. But they're just going to take it. What an asshole. What is it, who do you think he is trying that shizzle? You're dead now, bro. Now, I know Falkreath, they're like, yes, yeah, we're all about death. But if I walk into town with a zombie, they might be a bit upset about that. Um, yeah, those those things might not help Menzu, but... um. yeah god yeah two so two pots of coffee and two or three cans of coke a day every day and that's all see i don't think the coffee's necessary that amount of caffeine is probably not great um and um you know but it is what it is it could be worse some, you know some people function quite well on that but um cans of coke that's not too bad two or three I know a lot of people go hard in the paint on soda. Um, it's the fact... One, it was every single day. Like, you didn't take a day off. That was the what your liquid, your intake. And there was no other liquid intake, mental. Like, no, just, like, no, just water. You know what I mean? Which I didn't get, drink every day. Doesn't, it's not, like, the best tasting, for sure. So that could de that would definitely have an effect on you, buddy. And especially when you're so young as, like, 17... You're it's good to know. Um, it's um, you know, your body's still developing. It's um, you're putting like strain on your body, which is not necessarily good for it when you're that age. Uh, Faldress. I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight. If you'll excuse me. Now, Faldress, let me tell you this, buddy. Let me tell you this. The Shrine of Azura is over here. Right there. We met you here in Falkreath, walking along this road. No, in fact, we didn't. Where did we meet him? We met him in Whiterun. Old. Roughly along here, I think. And he said the same thing. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to the Shrine of Azura. This was about a week or two ago in the game. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you wonder, you don't know where he's going, do you? He doesn't know where he's going. And I would help him. I'll, I'll be like, yeah, let's go together, bro. He's like, no. Leave me alone. Where? Um, can I safely get down here? Probably. Just, just starting to snow. Nice. Right, what time of day is it? Um... We might have to... I expect the Jarl's probably uh, asleep. But maybe we can go into his house anyway. And wake him up. Probably. Probably be fine. Does he? <laughs> I guess he's just... um, He's just one of those NPCs, men, whose sole purpose is to, like, direct you to certain things, isn't it? That's all he's for. Um... Oh, pickpocket chances are fifty percent higher. My God, I'm not gonna have to steal any of that. Am I? Doesn't matter. Um, but yes, my lord. Good to see you. Wake up. Good to see you too. I've killed the leader of Shadowstone Mine for you, as requested. Teach them to stop paying me. Yeah. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. Indeed. You know what? A thousand gold. I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. For the right I amount of money. I grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Jarl Sidgir. 
but uh, it is what it is. He's getting long with us, so is there anything else you need, my yarl? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Okay. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Okay. Um, I don't have time for that. It would be an honor. On your way, then. Okay. All right, okay, Farewell. it's just the people of Falkreath. We've already done two out of three. Okay. We've got more than uh, a couple of things to do. Um, so that's all good. Um, and we can take some of his stuff, even. Thank you. Thank you, bro. It's not stealing. I could steal some of this stuff, you know what I mean, but... Hey, bloody leggers, just... Alright, oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just stay in here. Alright, so where's some... Um, where's the steward? Where's she at? That's his bodyguard. He's on the other side. Let's do our mystic condenser while we're nice. I mean, thousand gold is a lot of money, but uh, I suppose it's for what we did, it seems um, fairly reasonable, doesn't it? Sea dog cape. So a lot of these capes, we've got different names that we're not seen that many. But I, I swear, we've seen three different capes have different names, and they all look exactly the same. So that's um. I mean, I want to cry about it. I'll take these soul gems you're riding up here. Um, Nenya. I'm a steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl Dengear before him. Indeed. I'd like to purchase a house in town, please. There's no house available, oh. but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. How much is that going to cost? I guess, uh... Oh, you never rise until after you've done the quest. Oh, okay, we're going to get uh, get up there at some point. Um, I guess we'll buy the land. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Lakeview Manor. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Okay. May wisdom forever light your path. Oh, okay. Let's look, uh, look at this p bit of land we just bought. We'll come back to town in a minute. Anyway, we need to... um. Oh, okay. Lakeview Manor. It's just up this way. And so it's, um... Yeah, sorry about the sound effect. My controller is very sensitive on the map screen. Um... Okay. It's not actually anywhere near town. I guess it's kind of nearby, but... Let's, um, go have a gander at it. Ah, that's something I need to watch out for. Um, it looks like you're, uh, when you come back from beast form, your stone flesh, even though you, your stone flesh, you have it when you're in beast form. You, uh, when you change back, you, you've lost it. You need to recast it. Sphinx, you're off, are you? 
Well, my dear, it's always a pleasure to have you. Uh, take care of yourself. It's nearly got. Oh, are you feeling better as well? Yeah. She uh, jacked her neck up the other day. A little way out of town, you say? This one, a little way. Who are you? Sit, oh, citizen again. Yes. <laughs> oh, citizen. See you later. Okay, so here we go. So yeah, we um, this is mysterious house, Pine Watch that we decided not to break into because you know it's none of our business. Right, so it's just uh, we we'll follow the path this way. Ooh, what do I spy up there? Silly mud crab. Who do you think you are? Sky shard. I think we've got to do a bit of a uh, bit of mountaineering to uh, get to that. Um, oh, right! If you insist, if you insist, buddy. I feel bad for him. The troll AI is not great. Right, okay, this is the bit of land. The, the area of land we have just purchased. I don't know where the border of it is. Before we look at that, let's so climb up onto these rocks here. All right, so so far so good. Sorry, Menzu, what's that? Um, uh, <laughs> oh, favourite nuts. Oh, yeah. No, I love nuts. Yeah, apart from Kupo nuts, uh, which, of course, that's a different thing. But <laughs> actual nuts, peanuts. I eat peanuts every single day. Uh, just dry roasted peanuts. I like them salted. Uh, peanut butter is the food of the gods. Um, uh, Chocolate-covered peanuts. Are you having a bubble? What we... You know what I mean? It's just... It's just, it's just all god tier. Um, so yes, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of all nuts, generally speaking. Um, right, beginner's guide to homesteading. Let's have a little look. Uh, assuming you finding your own steading and building your own home. Yeah, well, if this is someone building a home, uh, but where to start? Never fear. Holding your hands of God to everything you need to know before long you'll be gazing complacently across the well-tended lands from your porch of your own manor house. Manor house? We shall see about this. Two vital pieces of equipment. The drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Uh, drafting table is where you lay out your plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry about making a mistake here. You can always change your mind. Making a new plan costs you nothing. Remember, measure twice and cut once. Uh, carpenter's bench is where you do the actual construction. 
Once you're settled on a plan at the drafting table, you start building your house at the carpenter's workbench. Why the common beginner's mistakes? Don't try to build the roof without building the pro uh, proper supports first. No doubt. <laughs> uh, if you have a spouse or children, no, but you never know. Um, certainly want to get the house in a livable state as soon as possible. Your loving spouse will no doubt uh, <laughs> make do with nothing more than a roof over her head uh, and a bed to sleep in. Uh, sexist. But what about the children? Don't worry, they need a bed in the chest or a dress to store their treasures and they'll be perfectly content. You need a lot of build, uh, a lot of supplies to complete your house and it isn't necessary to gather everything you need ahead of time. Uh, unless you're in a hurry, you can just build in stages as materials become available. Enjoy watching your home progress from dream to reality. The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, cut stone and clay. Luckily, they're plentiful in Skyrim. In fact, most building sites will have one or more easily accessible resources, sources of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill owner will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. You need a lot of nails. Unfortunately, even a novice, novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease. We should be able to do that. Uh, when you turn to furnishings, you turn to furnishing your complete house, you need a much wider, wider variety of materials. So this is completely different to the Breeze Home in White uh, Run, where you just buy the property and then you pay to get it furnished and then that's the end of it this is building a house from scratch interesting um some of the much of straw and glass are commonly obtained from general goods stores for the rest the whole of skyrim will become your general store hire a steward once your estate is well established you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs a good steward will become a vet invaluable from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow giving you supplied with building materials Free to join the fruits of your labours. Before hiring a steward, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements. Remember, you're putting your entire estate in their hands. I guess you just choose a follower. You need someone you can trust implicitly. Uh, the rest of the guy will review plans for each room. Small house. We get too ambitious. Gain confidence by building this tidy cottage. Or we'll just build the, the, the largest house, please. So to keep building, can we model this into entryway to the rest of your house? Oh, main hall. Okay, so you can build it as an entryway. Okay, add the main hall, which will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including a space for two small bedrooms, a back room, and a large dining area. In additions. Once you've built the main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You can have room to add uh, three more additional wings if you decide you still need more space. Wow. For each wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving a total of nine possible additions. You can, choose, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. Right, okay. Wow, okay. This is pretty cool. I don't remember this. Is this, um, this is the Hearthstone uh, official DLC. I can't remember it. Um... Um, not at all, men. So, first Pokemon game was Gen 4. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no judgment here at all. Um, um, right, only specific followers. Okay, I'll see, men. Um, <laughs> uh, is it, uh, is it not a psychic? Yeah, I, I, my Pokemon knowledge is, uh, it's somewhat limited. Um. Oh! Hippo Nation. Abby. Hey, <laughs> thank you for hydration. I appreciate that. How you doing? Are you well? What's going on, my dear? How are we doing on time? We've got an hour and a half. We've got plenty of time. Yeah, it always threw me off. Um, you have the difference between a, type, a Pokemon type and then a move type. And sometimes they're completely different. Um, um, so yeah, so, it, so you've got three different wings. And you can choose one of th three different things for each one. So in the west wing, you can have extra bedrooms. I guess we already have bedrooms, right? But uh, extra if you want. Uh, somewhere to put your family. Uh, more comfortable living quarters than the main hall affords. Well, I don't care about Lydia and a little pet bug. That's fine. 
Um, bedroom space for a master bedroom plus two children's beds, as well as all the dressers, wardrobes, etc. A space, spacious exterior porch. So it's nice, but let's see what our other options are. I'm very well. I'm very well, Abby. How are you doing, my dear? You good, are you? You are well. You said you're well. How's Isaac? Is he well? Um, yeah, anything particular going on? Thank you for stopping in. Um, yeah, anyone doesn't know, uh, Peepo Nation there, that is Abby. Abby is, um, one of, uh, the Gaming Avengers. You know, Ben, one of my mods, the Gaming Avengers. Um, that's his good friend, Abby, who, uh, is one of the, one of the three Gaming Avengers. Uh, you, uh, do keep an eye on the Gaming Avengers, uh, channel if you want to see Abby. She, uh, sometimes Ben will do solo stream. Uh, sometimes Abby will do solo stream. Uh, or, you know, uh, have her husband Isaac on there, the up the third of the Game and Avengers. Um, go, uh, she's wonderful. Go, go, go say hello sometime. Um, anyway, the West Wing, you could have a greenhouse. Uh, perhaps you'll garden at heart. So the greenhouse provides room for planters. We can grow almost whatever you wish. Uh, could be very useful for alchemy. If. It allows us to grow alchemy ingredients, not just food. Um, or Enchanter's Tower. Uh, magical Realm. This tower condition is for you. Conduct your research in privacy and comfort. Plenty of space for keeping your collections and artifacts organized. And the view from the tower is guaranteed to take your breath away. Because it's hard to think. So of those three, the bedrooms sound cool, but it definitely, I definitely feel that an enchanter's tower or a greenhouse are a better option. Uh, Northwing storage room. If you simply need more space to store, store your many possessions and collections, build yourself a storage room. The included porch can even be connected to the porch on the west or east wings if you build the bedroom or armory additions. Yeah, not necessarily going to do that. We shall see. We don't know what we're going to... We're probably not going to have the bedroom uh, on the west wing, but... Maybe an armory, we'll see. Store so just an extra storage room with a bal with a balcony. Um trophy room. Uh space for display to seven magnificent mounted specimens of your choice. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm into really taxidermy, but necessarily, but and the final option. Uh Alchemy Laboratory. This sounds more most appropriate. This tower uh, addition will give you plenty of space and storage to hone your crafting comfort. Uh, if you need a break from brewing potions, enjoy the view from the tower roof. Well, la dee da. Um, right, uh, and uh, that's the north, isn't it? So, East Wing Armory. Spend a day hammering metal or simply a collector of armor and weapons. The armory is for you. Space for smithing. Of course you can. ZJ. How you doing? Uh, sorry, my eyesight. Oh, Z Jail? Z Jail? Is it J? Z J? Let me know how, how you'd like me to say your name. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome in. My name is Isnip. You call me Is. We are playing Modded Skyrim. This is day six. No? Yes, day six we're on now. Uh, just kind of enjoying it. We're going to be playing this all this week and all of next week um, before we um, kind of, I'll say, downgrade. We are a variety channel here. So we will be, uh, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep our Skyrim playthrough going. We'll be doing that probably just on Fridays, and then Monday to Thursday we'll uh, be moving on to other things. But uh, welcome in, thank you for the follow. Um, you trying to do some writing, are you, Abby? Skyrim's going excellently. It's uh, Ben said he's been looking at himself recently. He can explain it to you better than I can. Um, it's like hardcore fantasy, and it's uh, one of those open world games where you can do whatever you want. Some people aren't into that some people want a bit more um linearity they want to be like okay so this is the first level ah now we do the second level um just think of like a zelda game but you can do the dungeon in any order and you don't even have to do the dungeons you can just do other stuff i guess <laughs> think about it like that um but yeah it's going very well abby um it's gonna there's so much to it we could easily spend like a thousand two thousand hours playing it that's why we're uh we're not gonna spend too much time on it because uh, we've got other things, other things to do in the future. So, um, but anyway, yes, the armory, storing armor and smithing, room to display your collection. 
I'm not sure about that, but having a, a smith, a place to smith in the house, yeah, is very appealing. Kitchen. Uh, peruse the highest culinary arts. Tired of cooking everything in a pot over a fire. Equip it with a new fangled oven. Cool, but and a library. Oh, we do want to kind of get a library somewhere, don't we? We value literature, a space for all the bookshelves you could desire. Enjoy your collection of books in style. Or perhaps like a book to the tower from... Right, okay, so a lot of options there. So for the East Wing, I mean, feeling library or armory. Alchemy lab, probably on the North Wing. And maybe the Enchanter's Tower and Greenhouse. So the Alchemy lab, that suggests... I don't know. I don't know. We've got options. I don't think we can do any of this at the moment anyway. Uh, Jay is good. Perfect, Jay. Welcome in. Um, is your entire childhood? Yeah. Um, I'm probably a bit older than you, Jay. So I, I wasn't a child when it came out. But um, I got it on release. And I, my God, I was obsessed with it. Must have put a couple of hundred hours into Vanilla Skyrim. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a joy to come back to it now. Um after all, all these years of not playing it um i'm looking this chest oh cool i assume we can this stuff gets taken from there anyway but yeah welcome in yes it's a lovely game um we've got various mods nothing that's law breaking i don't think um but we have we're still in the early doors of the game uh if you've got any questions about the game like where what we've done or um you know how far through things we are what we plan on doing or what how we're going about things you just let me know jay um excellent yes yeah, so you've got it when it was released jay and you were like oh my god it's amazing yeah i can imagine i can imagine being 12 playing skyrim and being like blown away by it um <clears throat> Yeah, there you go, Abby. Menzies probably explained it better than uh, better than me. Um, let's look at the drafting table. Yeah, so you have to build them in order. So the small house layout. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Use the carpenter's work to build the foundation of your house. Okay. Right. So we need 10 quarried stone and 20 sawn logs. Uh, get the foundation. And there's quarried stones in here, right? I want extra there. Didn't mean that. House foundation. Perfect. So is the foundation there we go it's there this is the foundation perfect right okay <laughs> uh what next um workbench now we before carpentry okay i guess that could be a thing uh house wall framing or a jetty so we want like at least 12 nails at the minute, don't we? Um, so let me, um... First, let me put that stone back. Oh, I'd used it all. Okay. But let me, uh... Let me take the ingots. Leave the clay there for a minute. Right, so, um... Lots of things we can make. Um, nails. Cool. Now that should allow us to um, make the wall framing. Perfect. Now, it says a jetty. Oh, is it really... Are we even that close to the water? 
we've got bloody uh that's where the conjurer attacked us wasn't it i don't know interesting We'll make it, see what happens. Oh, uh, unless the house goes like all the way down to the water here. Okay, maybe it does. I don't know. Well, there's a jetty down there. I don't know how that really helps us so much, but hey ho, let's not worry about that right at the moment. Let's uh, <laughs> let's see what else we got. Um, house walls. I need four clay and uh, some more nails. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Now we're playing with power. We've got some walls and a floor. We need a roof and a well, an actual floor, not a dirt floor. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. So we need four quarried stone and ah. So I think this is where we're starting to run out of uh, ingredients here. We have no logs, so I need to go to a lumber mill and buy some logs, maybe. Um. What about the workbench as well? Does that get placed anywhere? That's not my inventory, is it? No, okay. Um... Unless that just I guess added to oh is that an upgrade? No, workbench carpentry. I don't get it. Oh, it's a book. Oh. Okay, well first let's have a look at the chart here. Sid Gear, Yala Falkreath to Izzy, his loyal friend. Grant of the steading of Lakeview Manor on the south shore of Lake uh Ilian Ilinalto. East of Falkreath, witnessed by Nenya, steward to Yarsiga. Excellent. Um, anyway, yes. Set up that Oculus, men soon. We'll enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Abby, you don't... You start the game and it's like... Ah, you should go here and do this. You don't have to. You can literally... You're just there. You can choose to walk in any direction and just go do whatever it's um it's yeah it definitely seems more complicated than it is at the minute we've uh just uh oh okay what happened there it's not an actual book unless it just gives us more recipes essentially um no right, so we want a couple of these there we go get the floor right so we need to um let's see if there's anything i should leave here at the minute i've picked up on mistake um uh okay so we'll leave the nails and just carry those around with us I think that's it. I think we're going to make any of that on the anvil, can we? No, so that wouldn't make sense at all. Okay, so we're... So here is at the start of our house. It has a floor, although we clearly need to trim these... Uh, 
the, this oh i wonder because i've got a uh a foliage mod on that this grass will is not really supposed to be there in vanilla and that's going to stay there I don't, <laughs> we'll worry about that later um so i need to get to a sawmill at some point and get buy and have delivered here some logs um half moon mill is just literally over there how are we doing for uh gold okay we're doing all right actually um what time of day is it okay so let's head over to the mill there oh um we've got logs like right here this is not what can, much we can do with those let's just head over to the mill uh and see if we can just as it's that close Yeah, yeah, it's it's all on. Uh, you can get it all on Steam, uh, Abby. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd uh, I'd talk to Ben about it first before you just go and buy it. Uh, just because <laughs> uh, it's either like something that you will. Uh, you may you if you don't get into it, you may. F oh my god. Uh, you may feel like you've. It's maybe it's like. Um, not a waste of money but if you know well i guess it would be if you didn't get into it but a like random hunter um but uh if you uh if you did it could very well like take up far too much of your time we've got random skellywag here just hanging around in the middle of the day hey bro what are you playing at oh, actually i want to i want to try um that spell we uh we got uh, just to try it out um the bone spirit spell it does damage to undead um is that am i just missing oh there we go oh damn and i tagged the horse by accident Sorry, horse. I was trying out my new uh, skeleton killing spell. Oh, is everyone so aggro in this game? I didn't mean to hurt you. What? Um. True. Just, uh, just consider it. That's all I'd say, Abby. Don't just, uh. Just get on it. Last thing, I'm um, I was very uh taken. I, you know, I I pre-ordered it. In fact, I pre-ordered the the game before it in the series. Um, and uh, here we go. We're at the mill now. Uh, you know, because I knew it was like something I wanted to get into, but like I say, it's, it's just such a big game that we can't even afford to um. Spend too much time on it, actually. No, I don't need to hire a boat, buddy. I am looking for somebody. Use a lumber pile. How not use this while in combat? Oh, is that horse cut trying to come after us? Rah! 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 Um. Whoa! 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 Oh, this bro. Oh, this bro. He was invisible or something. Now he's... My God, okay. It's like that, is it, son? <laughs> Lady Lizard, okay. Wow, wrecking us a little bit. Um... Okay. Wasn't too bad. Assassin. Now, assassins usually don't just kill randomly, do they? Someone sent an assassin after us. I like the armor, though. La de da. We'll take this just to. 
Just to wear later, maybe. Dark Brotherhood Bandolier shoulder pad. Carrying capacity increased by 75. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the Dark Brotherhood is. Well, I do. But for the sake of spoilers, I'm pretending I don't. Um, poison. No from Dark Brotherhood Assassin. As instructed, you are to eliminate Izzy by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Astrid. Well. Um. You say that, but uh, okay, so the, the Dark Brotherhood, eh? Seemingly assassins for hire. And somebody... I understand someone wants us dead. Everyone, you know, there's plenty of people out there who want us dead, but... Um... Interesting. Now, I guess I shouldn't take it personally. They're hired killers, but also... We'll have to keep an eye out for them. They may be coming after us in the future. Half Moon Mill. Who's the, place, who's the person who owns the mill? I'm not planning any trouble. I'm planning any looking to buy some lumber. Uh, Balthier, how you doing, bro? Um, damn. Getting after it, sir. Respect. Um... Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. Oh, okay. Did you get many guests? We have guests as often as we can. Oh, okay. But I thought she'd been sarcastic then. <laughs> the war keeps people off the roads. No doubt. What locations does this mill supply? We supply Falkreath to the no south. No doubt. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Yeah. Falkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. No doubt. Uh, do you like it out here or away from everything? Other people just make things complex. Indeed. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. Cool. I'd, and more to the point, while I'm actually here, I disturbed you, just bust into your home. I'd love to buy some lumber. Doing some building, eh? We can deliver it wherever you need. Um. 20 logs for 200 gold. So a log of log of lumber uh, for 10 gold. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, can I just cut it myself? I'll just buy it from them. I'll have them hold over right away. You don't know I want them. Okay, so that's twenty logs. Um, Doing some is that gonna be enough? Eh? I'll have them hold over right away. Okay, that's forty. Doing some building. I don't eh? know if I need this many. I'll have Sixty. Them hold over right away. That'll do for now. Cool. Thank you. Sixty logs. I, I guess they basically get put in the treasure chest that's up there. We shall see. Um. Let's uh, get back over there and have a look. Damn, big boy moose. Oh, got a level up. Of course I did. Again, we're going to go health. I want to round, try and round out our health at uh, a nice th round 300. Then we will start bringing up magic and stamina because they are lacking. All right, we've got two perks, folks. What should we... What could we go for? What should we go for? Um, oh, I think our sneak went up a, a little bit, didn't it? And arch archery. Here we go. Oh, there we go. What about that? Quickly shot. Arrows and bolts slow a target within 25 feet by 10% for 20 seconds. And slow means literally movement. Well, that's, you know, it all adds up. And it stacks as well, so... Let's go from that. Uh, thread the needle. Uh, bows and crossbows ignore 25% of armor if the target is not moving. Hence, a sneak attack. Um, and what's that one here? Hunter's Discipline. Recover twice as many arrows and bolts from dead bodies. Eh. That's like... I... You, you never really run out of arrows. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to get thread the needle there. 
But there's another level to that. The second tier to that. You need to get Archery to level 70, though, first. Cool. I'm happy with that. I'll say, I don't know where the, the perk is. Or maybe they've removed it or changed it in uh, Ordinator, but... um. There is one to, you know, slows down time when you draw your bow back. And it's very easy to pick your shots. It makes um, archery far more viable. Hello. Bloody in you. Oh, there, buddy. You're not aggressive, are you? <laughs> Hey, friend. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Well, I'm right here to harass it. Uh, right, a little bit more along to the east. Where's that horse I'll beat up by accident? Sorry, buddy. And it, it was an accident. Oh, okay. Let me just tag this location here. North Shriek Wind Bastion. Sounds scary. I'll investigate that another time. Crossbow only, uh, Mensu, as in... No, you mean no bow? Or you mean no weapons at all? Crossbow and your bare hands. That's it. Why not? It's, it's cool, isn't it? Um, yeah, I got, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you get to the point where you find decent arrows, because that's the thing we've got. If we look at our arrows, uh, there you go. Dwarven, Nordic, uh, Golden, Orcish. They're all like a high, high level arrows. We've not got very many of them. Hence why I'm not using them at the minute. I'm just, you know, so that would definitely help with that. But I just feel for now. It's probably uh, better things that I should be uh, I should be uh, spending uh, those on. All right, so hopefully, oh, I can see even placed it there. That's cool. Log pile sixty two. And we uh, chop it there, do we? I'll just click it to. I guess we gotta chop it. Uh, let me remind myself what I need exactly. And you can mine stone right out of that. Okay, cool. Excellent. So what we actually need. Um, the house framing. We've got it done. I think I think I may have gone overboard with the 60 logs, but I guess uh, we're covered for now. Right, there we go. That's the roof frame. Butterflies hanging out in the house. What? Uh, <laughs> that's fine. I don't mind. They can stay there. Um, so the roof. We need some more nails. Let's pull those nails out. Well, what do you know? It's our basic house here. Um, shame about the, uh, you know. It's in nature. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. That is, it would look better if that wasn't there, obviously. But I'm not going to like mess around with mods and stuff just to tidy that up. I'm, I don't really care enough. Um, more about practicality. Right, a door. Right, iron fittings, a lock, and two hinges. Okay. Uh, two hinges. Go. Lock. Go. Right, uh That's my iron there to look at. I'm not seeing it. Um I think I guess we just need some iron ingots. I and mean, I guess we don't have enough uh iron ore at the minute. Well we probably have iron ore on us. Yeah, it needs uh, one iron fitting. 
28 iron ingots, which we... I'm sure we picked up a bunch of iron ore. Yeah, I need to go smelt some of that and come back. Okay, so... This is our house at the moment and our land. No door. That's fine. We'll get on a door at some point. Um, for now, though. Looking at... Uh, okay, yeah, we're looking over... Over the way, you can see Bleak Falls Barrow. Over there. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is going to be quite impressive once once we get this finished. Um, our, uh, is there a... There must be a smelter down in Falkreath. I'm sure of it. It's got to be. It'd be crazy if there wasn't. Yeah, who cares about doors? It's fine, doesn't matter. Um, look, I mean, sometimes animals die, Balthier. I never plan it. It's never intentional. You know that. <laughs> Unless they're been eaten, then that's um. Yeah, I know. I know, Red Mage. Um, it's very sad. At least we kept her a lot, like, right to the end. It was the story that killed Ixie and Look Horseface, not... Not, um... Not me. I was a foul more transporting a prisoner again. Not going to mess with them. Even if I don't necessarily agree with them. Peacock Butterfly. I bet we've, uh, beaten that. God, there's so many butterfly types in this uh, alchemy overhaul. In vanilla Skyrim, I think there's about maybe a four or five, maybe half a dozen different butterfly types that you can use in alchemy. So that, the idea is not original, but um, they've clearly expanded it out a little bit. Why is this creature just chilling up here? I don't know. Now, uh, where's Lod? So, Lodge, you're a blacksmith, but you do not have a smelter. I feel that's kind of a, th a problem, buddy. Never mind, eh? Um, it is what it is. So, we have got uh, a bunch of stuff to sell, basically, right now. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Ah, okay. Seems like loyalty is important to you. I've been personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. Okay. The true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Uh, Falkyrie seems quiet. Only inside the gates. Yeah. Much of Falkyrie's hold is wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. No doubt. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, probably a bit of both. Interesting items he's got. Uh, let's go buy some iron ingots. Uh, as I... I'm not inclined to do it, but if we want to make more progress on the house right now, probably be, not be a terrible idea. Yeah, it really was Red Mage. I, I bloody loved it. Nice. I know Dragoon's one of those, uh, Balthier. What are your, uh, what are your other three? And what's the fifth one you're working on? Um. That's a lot of gold to buy some iron ingots, but we, I guess we can leave them up there. Let's, let's just do it. 500 gold. Um, but we've probably got some stuff we can sell. Uh, and then some. Right. That we want to keep to disenchant. We'll sell the Orcish uh, Warax there. we have got two bloody Orcish bows. Uh, steel crossbow we no longer need. So 
so the shrouded gloves are not as good as not that good but they look freaking cool i love the the look of them um yeah we'll sell the orcish gauntlets um we'll sell that won't, won't worry uh the shrouded boots as well i actually just equip those now just for the look of it now did i accidentally selling my uh my armor no i can't have done see me at my forge if you need arms or armor no it's just that uh you cannot sell it because uh it's a uh, special okay so we've got the bandolier so we've got uh we're kind of marking ourselves out as the members of the dark brotherhood potentially but yeah the savior's hide amazing so that looks good it's uh it's it's actual stats are terrible so we should actually sell that honestly and the gloves as well we'll put the shrouded boots on yeah the boots are cool only a hearty hmm. blades helmets pretty much anything to suit your needs yes indeed um maybe keep that to have a light variant yeah it's a shame but um oh where was it was it i just sold there it was my um gloves wasn't it idiot there's no buyback there we go i yeah, lost a bit of money there idiot never mind Feels worth there. these things happen um got potions to sell uh and a bunch of gems as well. I wonder if the alchemist will uh, buy gems. Um, be around this way. Some of our houses. This way. Oh, sorry, I missed that uh, about there. Dragoon Warrior Red Major Machinist. Ah, excellent. Cool, and White Mage as well. Excellent. I was never much of a healer. Um, I wasn't massively into Dragoon, although I see the appeal. Warrior, my favourite tank by far. Uh, and Red Mage and both Machinist were, for different reasons, high up there, my favourite uh, damage the DPS. Um, so, yeah, nice, nice buddy. Uh... No, that wasn't a house, was it? Over this way somewhere. Let's go to the general store, can't we? I think there there is a general store in Falkreath, right? I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Indeed. Don't let the shop take a look. Oh, we've got some recipes here. Inclined to uh, get these. Oh, 
Wow, so many, uh, so many potions. Right, yeah, she doesn't, um... Nice. Speech 32. Uh... I don't want to buy my gems I've got. Oh, what? What am I telling you stuff for? Nothing, no reason. Ah, yeah, sorry. Great point, good. Down the other end of town. I, of course. Yeah, it's um, the uh, brother of the racist. Uh, who are... Uh, very much on the side of the storm cloaks. Used to be one, didn't he? Give a holler if you have any questions. Indeed, my friend. Well, ma oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I doubt. Um. I might keep the uh some of this jewelry in case uh it could be useful later on. Don't worry about silver rings. Uh, yeah, Runal. I think... Oh, yeah, we've got this mysterious mask as well. Tribunal, golden mask. Um, I'll hold on to that for now. Right, I'll send them these gems, though. Ah, there you go. This silverware we we took from the uh, bandits. Perfect. Right, there we go. Steal anything from my shop, and you'll regret it. I have got no desire to steal anything from your shop, my friend. Uh, and I don't like that attitude. Don't like it. Um, yeah. Let's read these recipes. Nice. Uh, I guess once you've read them, you can sell them, maybe, but I don't know. Right, okay. Uh, Jesh, thank you for the hydration, so I'll get right on that. Uh, I'll see if Runal's around. Let's see if he's hang. I don't remember where he was. Let's see if he's hanging in the, um... Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. He's not, is he? Um, it's a bit, a bit too early in the day, I feel. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how they've changed uh, jobs um, since they raised the level cap. So the level cap was only 80 when I played it, but um, Gunbreaker was amazing. Uh, I wasn't a fan of it because it had, he seemed to have, he it had more, far more button pressing than um, any of the other tanks or possibly any other job I'd ever played. So it was definitely amazing, but God, I'm could barely keep up with it. Um, I wonder if I should have. My brother plays uh, 14 on controller. Maybe I should have learnt myself to play it on controller, but I never did. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with uh, Final Fantasy 14 when I played it. I put about nine months into it, but I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, um. My interest in this is uh has faded. <coughs> Excuse me.
Thank you, Josh. I do appreciate it, bud. I think I took enough sips there to uh, to quantify a uh, suffice a full hydration. Alright, let's get the door in the place, and then hopefully that will allow us to actually build the pro the house proper. Alright, so we want is it two hinges? I think it was hinges. Iron fitting. Okay, we'll probably need hinges again in a minute. So, <laughs> uh, there we go. So, garden and animal pen. I guess that's stuff actually outside, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there we go. So it's an interior now. Ah, oh, there we go. It's just because it was outside before. And we've got an empty chest to store stuff. And the carpenter's workbench. To build things inside. That's what that was for. I wonder why did we even... Why did we even build that? But... <laughs> um, okay, so this is for stuff inside. And in nails, leather, like double bed. Dresser. Table and chairs. Uh, shelves with display cases, wall sconces, fire pit. Right, okay. Well, if we go back outside, we can uh, work on the outside stuff. Cool. Um, Jesh, always a pleasure to have you here, my friend. No, yeah, indeed. We've, we've only got like just under an hour left anyway. But thank you for hanging out, buddy. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you soon. If you ever need anything, you let me know. You know how to get hold of me, so... We're all good. Right, let's have a look at the drafting table. See if we... Here we go. So the main hall plan. This is what we want. Remove the workbench. No need to do that. All right. Let's see what we need for the main hall. Uh, Main hall door. I guess is the first thing. So we need one lock and one iron fitting. Um, all right, so where are the locks? I'm not seeing the locks. Uh, copper ingot. Oh, god damn it, I'm out of copper ingots, aren't I? Oh, okay, there you go. Smart Tower is the main hall. Damn, this is going to be pretty epic. I don't even remember doing this in vanilla. I know we were still playing when the uh, DLC came out. I don't remember this. and I, I assume this is not the only house we can build in Skyrim. Right, we need copper. Um, I'm considering moving all our stuff here from, uh, from uh, Whiterun, but... Um, Maybe, not, maybe I can do that off stream, maybe. And we've got copper ore. We need to forge and whatnot, don't we? That's the problem. Um, there's a smelter. Is there anything we can just do off the bat? Garden animal pen. Um, apiary. We need to require straw. Oh, I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, Armourer's workbench. Grindstone. Smelter, here we go. Where is the, where that's gonna go? I don't know, but um, so need six clay, four stone, and an extra iron fitting. Smelter added. And it's right here. Oh, baby. Now we're playing with power. Alright. 
get those uh, uh co oh, see, only a single copper ingot. Um, oh, we can make ebony from the that golden mask. Hmm. Let's make golden ingot. Um. Ah, okay. And then we've got our iron ore. So let's uh, make our ingots there. Um. Right, yes, we need to, an iron fit, and then we need to make a lock. Okay, that's our lock. That's not that iron fitting. That should allow us to make the door. Into the main hall. There we go. Excellent. So now, can we actually make the main hall? <laughs> what do we need for it? We just have to get the... Yeah, the main hall foundation of 30 quarried stone. Okay, well that's, uh, thankfully. Ah, yeah, of course. School outfit. Yeah, no doubt about it. I'll do for now. I think that should cover it. Right, there we go. Main hall foundation. Uh, main hall floor. Main hall... Alright, 20 nails we need. Okay. Alright, first level walls, nails and clay. Um and nails we need for the second floor support so we probably want um, 26 nails and 8 clay that's a clay alright nails uh, if it's worth just making we need more aren't we let's just uh, okay, no, let's, uh, let's be sensible about it 1, 2, 3 Alright, smithing uh, level up. Uh, right, there we go. So we've got the, the first floor level walls. Boom. Main hall, second floor supports. Uh, roof framing, stone logs, perfect. Second floor walls. We need more clay and more nails. Now... Let's take all the clay, I guess. A few more nails. We might be running out of uh, materials very soon. Right, I doubt we're going to be able to finish this. Right, second floor walls. Main hall roof. Right, we need like another 23 odd nails. I think we're out of uh, iron, aren't we? Oh, not quite. This might be the end, though. But this will at least get the uh, main hall built. I'm not turning on looks at it yet. Um, okay, so we need ooh, like three more nails. <laughs> That's literally the end. That's all of our iron ore and ingots gone. So main hall roof. Well, la di da. Come, power of the universe. Oh. <sighs> Dragon King Slice! Ryan! 200 bitties, Dragon King Slice. You don't have to do that, sir. But I can't tell you what to do. You're a power unto yourself. And aren't I glad that you like me? I can't imagine being Ryan's enemy. Um, I'd be If I did something one day and Ryan's like, yo, it's, by the way, you're my enemy now, I'd be, uh, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, 
keeping a little eye in the back of my head. Do you know what I mean? Bless you, Ryan. Thank you so much, bro. I, I appreciate it. He's he a man. Right, so there's no... Uh, there's nothing at the back there. Um, now, I could go in the main hall, but it's obviously um, nothing to actually uh, build there. So we've got... Uh, we'll, we'll try and get everything built, and then we shall... Um, then we shall do the interior, if that makes sense. So, East Wing, Armory Kitchen Library. <sighs> I definitely want a place in the game to... store our books and put them on display, but... Practically speaking, the Armory's probably more useful... It shows you how it's kind of uh, hanging out there. It's right next to the smelter. I've got this on your little, own little platform outside the house. The tower looks cool, though. Uh, on the north at the end, the alchemy laboratory is a tower. Storage room is like a platform balcony. Or the trophy room. I've, I guess we definitely want the alchemy laboratory, I would imagine. Um... And on the west wing, on the other side, bedrooms, enchanter's tower, or greenhouse. I guess we probably want to go enchanter's tower. Um, decisions. Um, yeah, I don't know if it needs like double towers. You could have tr you could have a triple tower house, couldn't you? I feel about that. I'm leaning towards armory on the west there. Even though we'd be losing out on the the uh, library. It's got to be alchemy laboratory on the end at the tower. I feel it's got to be. Um, I guess we're going to end up with double tower maybe. That's the, I think the enchanters, the alchemy and the armory are the, the most practical. Uh, don't care about the storage room or trophy room. Bedrooms can live without. Greenhouse is tempting. So I assume that would allow you to gr maybe grow alchemy ingredients. But I don't know. Um, excellent. Yeah, about here. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, my, so I can only comment on... Um, how it was at 80 cap and i've heard some of the jobs have changed immensely but my favorite of each of those white mage for healer although that's my the worst role for me of well, three healers i guess four now so i can't comment on the new one um sage is it um white mage uh tank warrior it was my favorite uh, melee dps absolutely ninja um dragoon i can take it dragoon or leave it monk i hated ninja was the one for me Range DPS, a bit more, uh, a bit more, uh, hard to say, uh, ma Machinist and Bard, I both liked a lot. If I had to choose, I guess, I guess it would be Machinist if I had to choose. Um, and as for Magic DPS, it's got to be Summoner. Red Mage is a lot of fun. Uh, Black Mage is cool once you get used to the nuance of it, but I don't know, I don't, I don't feel it really fits the role of a Black Mage and what a black mage means to me in terms of Final Fantasy, but... Um... Ah! <laughs> right. <laughs> Mac and cheese bites. I I don't... I know what they are. I guess they're, like... Mac and cheese and a breadcrumb thing. Uh, I don't uh, know that I've specifically had them, but... Yeah, I mean, look, if you have to do that, Ryan... She's just got to understand... She's just gonna. She's just gonna have to understand, right? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna. Yeah. So here we go. Let's go with the alchemy laboratory first. We'll do these one at a time. I feel that's got. That's got to be the uh, north tower, definitely. Which hopefully should is, is also marked out now. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I don't remember doing any of this. This is so freaking cool. Um, the door, 
iron fittings, iron and locks and hinges. So we need to get loads of iron up here. Is what we need to do. And I've got loads over it in white run. Um, I've got apiary. We need straw for that. I don't know where we're going to get a straw from, but I'll uh, ask around for that. Armourer's workbench is to go where? I'm not sure. Grindstone. I guess these just go outside next to all this other stuff we've got. Uh, the stable and uh, a garden and animal pen. Um, so I guess we make the garden and the animal pen and the stable. I don't see why not. Okay. Activate soil. Plant a crop. Oh! Well, I mean... Who, who needs a, a greenhouse when you can just grow your crops outside? What the hell? Okay. Um, I guess that's the animal pen. Although we don't have currently have any animals. And this is obviously the stable. I don't know where we get straw from the, for the apiary, but... Oh, what the hell? Iron ore just hanging out here. Well, that was convenient. Knocked! How you doing, Noct? Are you well? I hope you're having a good one, my dear. We've um, we're spending some nice time in Falkreath. We are um, we just bought the the piece of land here, and we're like trying to build the house, and it's come it's it's coming along nicely. We we could definitely need some uh, more uh, materials and things to get you know get it fully done. Um, but uh, yeah, how you doing? I hope you're well. Okay, there we go. So, um, that's not much of anything. I'm going to, I assume no one will come along and steal this stuff. I'm going to put all of our, uh, various crafting materials in here. And put that clay back in there. Um, yeah, we need loads of things, sorry. Yeah, m mostly. So stone is not a problem. That stone is right there. Uh, the sawn logs are not also not really a problem. The mill's just down the other way. We can go and buy that whenever we want. Um, we need to keep an eye out some straw. But I guess the thing we mostly need is lots of iron. Lots and lots of iron. Um to make our various bits and pieces on the anvil there um but yeah let's let's uh, find some stuff in our garden here folks what do we what do we need of these things here that we've not really uh seen too much of mountain flowers we definitely don't need snowberries i feel we've picked up a load of those thistles as well no oh, we can plant nern root item planted oh a fertilizer soil Okay, we, don't, we need to buy some fertilizer, maybe. Damn, so we can grow more nern root. Okay, this is freaking cool. Um, I think I'll maybe... Let's get some mushrooms in here. We can worry about this more later. Maybe nern root is... I should just... That's all I should grow. Maybe. Okay, I want to leave the rest for a bit. That could be a freaking cool way to get more Nern root. Red Mage, thank you so much for being here. You absolute ledge. Uh, you take care of yourselves, buddy. And we shall uh, see you maybe tomorrow or whenever it's convenient for you. Um, uh, mainly being a garden gnome, not <laughs> What? <laughs> that sounds fun. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So we, and we still have... Um, Our, uh, is there anything we need to stash at the minute? Oh, let's leave those leather strips as well. Um, that's our crafting material. I am very much leaning towards moving all of our stuff from White Run over here. Honestly, it's it's hard for me to think that that's necessarily a bad idea. Um.
There we go. Ooh, check it. Yeah, we've got stuff to do in indoors as well. Display cases. Safe. Ooh. Need steel for that. Uh, shelves. Weapon plaque. Okay, that could be cool. I don't even need an anvil inside, but you never know. Mountain slaughterfish. <laughs> uh, and obviously the door to the Mage's Tower. The alchemy place will be there, but I have access to that in a minute. Okay. I don't know if you need to do uh, one of each of these or what, but... Or if they take up different spaces. There we go. And this is... Uh... Oh, unless the door is at the... Uh the second floor there well this is all looking very cool at the minute very cool indeed um so um let me stash my stuff here how long have we got we got half an hour um get a cow so so knocked where do we buy things like cows and uh uh and like straw i've never seen straw for sale we need to buy that to get the apiary up and running um for, ah so you get the steward and then then you go hey look get some extra stuff in outside of crafting stuff that stuff excellent thank you so we get the steward uh bellafor or sell straw excellent cool cool so um so what do we need to do to get the steward we just need to uh that's become a thane don't we which we which uh sid gear says we just need to help the people of falkreath two out of three we've done excellent cool cool so as soon as we become the thane we just go speak to sid gear and he, you know we've done our stuff he's like yes now you're now officially the thane here's your steward where do you want your steward oh in your house okay i'll see what's going on there um uh uh tesk uh tesk uh, sorry tesk katma tesk katma tesk welcome in tesk is it okay cool i'll uh We'll look forward to doing that in a second. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I want to just basically stash all of our stuff in here. Um, can I sit here? Of course you can. Of course you can. You right with Tesk? You happy with that? My name's Isnib. Call me Iz. Uh, welcome in, my friend. We are playing modded Skyrim. My first time playing Skyrim in like eight years or so. I don't know. I played it a lot on vanilla, uh, but we're playing it modded with various mods of uh, redundant is uh <laughs> um and uh yeah we're having a good old time of it so i'm gonna stash all my stuff in here i'm not gonna so here is what i'm gonna do for the last half hour of the stream guys i'm not going to mess around with the house i can do that off stream will i have time to do that by t tomorrow i don't know we shall see uh <laughs> Uh, and kind of move things over here and then get a, a grasp of like how far things are going to come along there was a lot to do with this i didn't realize it was this detailed i don't remember it but we shall see um all right so we've got to hang on to those carpentry workbench can go in there okay sorry that's not everything is it um right let's get all our alchemy ingredients in here Uh, and, um, all those potions, and all this random stuff I want to keep here. So I, I assume if we got the, uh, Enchanters extension, that would have an Arcane Enchanter in it, which is definitely a thing we want. Um, every, you know, we'll, we'll, pump, we'll, we'll bump into him at some point, I'm sure. Um. That's a disenchant. Uh, as is that. As is that. Okay, we're uh, about as unequipped. So our standard loadout of gear and armor and potions um, looks to be about yeah 101 out of 475. So that's pretty good. Uh, we can definitely make use of that. Um, 
Yeah, no, they can. So in terms of mods, uh, Tesk, we're not using anything law-breaking. No Macho Man, Randy Savage Dragons or any jank like that. Um, you know, and that's not to hate on those. I can't make those mods. Um, as You know, if people enjoy them, that's fine. But we're not doing anything like that. We've got too many things for me to mention, but graphics, sound, uh, overhauled, combat is more difficult. Uh, and we've got the precision mod, so it, you've actually got to land your blows properly. Um, dragons are twice as tough, as we saw to our chagrin yesterday. Uh, dragon variants. Um, uh, overhaul the ordinator leveling perk system. Overhauled. Um, crafting an alchemy overhaul. Uh, uh, you, yeah, you can, you name it. You tell me. Um, if you want a specific exact list, you more than welcome to join our Discord uh, community Discord server. There is a, a little bit in there about it under the gaming channel because a few people were asking about it, so I'll post in there. Um, but yeah, any any specific questions, you let me know, my friend. Um, um, oh, do you mean to get a, uh, to get followers uh, to store stuff? Oh, you mean to store? Yeah, no, yeah, of course, yeah, uh, to store. If somebody likes you, you can just use their storage containers, can't you? Yeah, I'm just a bit OCD for certain things. I want my uh, own spot. I didn't store anything until we got Breeze home. And I'm going to move all the stuff over there. But um, guys, yeah, so the last 25 minutes, we're just going to do a quest uh, rather than move stuff across there. Let me just save it a second. I'm desperately in need of uh, going to the bathroom. So <laughs> one minute break. I'll be right back, guys. Please bear with. I wish Balthier. I wish that was the case. <laughs> um, my God, you guys need a number on me with all, all those hydrations, though. Jeez, I'm like, I think I need to pee. You know, when you get to the bathroom, you're like, oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I need to pee. <laughs> um, have you not knocked? That's the beauty of Skyrim, isn't it? 
so our overall plan is i i don't like just rushing across the map so on the main story um we uh we need to head here uh to Ustengrav. the graybeards have told us to go there to find uh uh jürgen windcaller's horn but um i at least for this playthrough i don't want to just like head through territory we've not really like been to yet well, i suppose it's not really that far just kind of like a bit north of uh white run but um so we spent a lot of time in white run hold as you can see with uh some of the places we've been um but i like to take it a hold at the time go to an area uh look around the town talk to everyone see what jobs and work and missions we can pick up and then take care of those without going too far afield until we've gone to said such an area uh and then after we uh after we did white run in that regard we went up to see the gray beards and now we've moved down to Falkreath, so we're going to do that here. So really, we've only got a few missions to do. And then I think we'd probably head on to uh, Riften. Oh, sorry, the Rift. And the city of Riften after that and take it from there. Um, I don't know. Um, and then maybe work our way around this way. Um... But we shall see. We're playing it by ear. Um, PlayStation level 87. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, Noct likes to go around with a whole party, which is cool. Excellent. That's very cool. I guess I'll do that eventually, but I don't know whether I'll, I'll do that on stream or not. Um so uh balthia no i've not i've uh i saw an explosive barrel playing a bit of it the other day but um when we raided into him it was just like we just kind of like chatting for a while so i didn't really see too much of the game but i uh i like the idea of it oh okay we've got a tanning rack around here as well because that's if you if you kill the uh enemies you uh find to, <laughs> like if you uh hey i want a cow and you kill the cow and that seems like a waste of money but um so yeah let me have a little look at uh what we've got to do um so assisting the people of falkreath are doing that so um go to bloodlet throw in the mountain in the southeast of falkreath and destroy the vampire uh vigar uh runal's journal inside ember shard uh now we're trying to turn this ring so that might be useful today uh also look around the road outside falkreath for lod's dog uh, and then also we've got um, locate Valdius hunting party near the western shore of Lake Ilnalta. Um, let me remind myself where Runel's journal, where Embershard is for Runel's journal. Okay, just down the way. Embershard mine. Okay, that's what we're doing for today. We're for the twenty start to do for the twenty minutes we've got left, and uh, hopefully dropping all that stuff off. Yeah, we've got plenty of room for loot. There we go. Uh, what I haven't done in a while, though, I have not, um, I've not prayed to Kinnereth. Let's do that in the rain. There you go. We have prayed sufficiently. Onwards. Uh, now... Yeah, I guess so. If we just follow the path here, it's really not too far, is it? A uh, bear. I oh, don't. Not today, bear. Bears wreck wreck me in this game. Just for this, uh, died a few times to bears. No, you just growl at me. That's fine. We're moving on, friend. We're moving on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, some of the mods like these logs here. It makes uh, these mushrooms look a bit jank floating in the air, but... Eh. 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 What are you going to do? Probably learn more about it like Noct and actually know what you're doing when it comes to modding. But, you know. Here we are. Yet here we are. From pressing on. Right, is that the uh, bandits here? 
Yeah, I've got we'll be, so yeah, Tesco. We we got wrecked by a few, couple of bears yesterday. All right, so I'm going to hit Embershard Mine discovered. Excellent. They're bandits, so they all deserve to die. Where's he at, though? Is that him there? I'll get a bead on him. Now, will this clip uh, on something here? I don't know. Well, let's uh, give it a go. No, excellent. Well, she's not waiting for you now, bro. Now, he's probably not uh, very too strong. He doesn't seem very strong, does he? But, uh... Let's uh, get a little buddy with us. I thought he was going to keep the arrow in his head then. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um... Yeah, it's... Oh, Tesk, it's so satisfying getting those sneak attack headshots, isn't it? But yeah, as you can see, we're only level 23, so I only feel like we're starting to come into our own. We can handle some situations, but if we get, like, a bit too overwhelmed, uh, but things are relying on a lot of sneak... Uh, s archery sneak attacks, uh, having a zombie guy with us... Just as an extra body um you know blasting flames using our shouts uh mixing up blocking and single-handed and two-handed they're coming along nicely uh and our armor ratings are pretty good as well i think um so let's uh spend like 15 minutes just wandering through here and then we'll uh let's see how we get on um no exactly but if you're junior level knocked i'm uh microscopic speck of dust level you know <laughs> perfect pal there that's the best if i'm tr if i'm trying to make you guys laugh you know so, and it works successful job done perfect if i'm just saying random stuff and i'm not even trying and you find it funny then we're on to something folks then uh we're doing all right um oh Ryan, god damn it! Check that. Not that guy, Ryan. What a ledge. You have. You just w literally won the Isnim show. Um, let me. Uh, you let me do that now. I'll mess around over here. So guys, that's uh, not that guy, Ryan. There's uh, fifty thousand points. There's a lot of points. But if you hang around for a minute, it's um, a minute, more than a minute, a, a decent amount. It's uh, more than, a f you know, you can uh, definitely save up that many points. Um, right, interesting. Um, I just got a little message here from Twitch. Host mode is going away. It doesn't... Um, hosting, I didn't really feel did anything anyway. Um, so let me just get Ryan set up over here. It won't be a second, guys. Um, there we go. Well, bless you, Ryan. I appreciate that a lot, buddy. Roles manager. Add new. Not that guy. Ryan. It's, it's a very handsome face, though. VIP. A save. Boom. There you go. Now let me get you on the panels over here, Ryan. Probably just uh, take your uh, your stuff over from uh, your executive executive producership. There we go. Boom! So there you go. Ryan was an executive producer of the show. He's also a VIP as well. Boom! He's not he's not taking prisoners, folks. He's not into, you know he's not into play games. He's into he's into hang out while. I'd play games. <laughs> Bless you, Ryan. Ugh. I don't deserve you, um, sir, but I'm I'm going to take you everything you're worth uh, until you realise that. 
There we go. That's uh, our brand new VIP there, folks. Uh, not that guy, Ryan. He's uh, a ledge. He's um, one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Our twelfth VIP of the channel officially. Um, that is welcome to anyone. The way I see it is if you have been here long enough to save up 50,000 channel points uh, and you want that permanent recognition uh, of VIP status, um, you can uh, you can cash that in. Um, this, you know, I can't think of any circumstances where it would be that someone wouldn't. Unless someone has found the channel and done like hardcore lurking and had never even spoken in chat. That would be a little bit weird, but uh, we'll deal with that as and when it comes about. But bless you, Ryan. I appreciate that. What, what a guy. Um, yes, Nox, the uh, the flex leaderboard. That's the over 9,000, uh, which was intended to be a, ch a channel point waster. Like, literally, like, ha-ha, look how many channel points I have. Um, so, you know, do people want to get on the leaderboard? Some people want VIP. Um, I know a couple of people, like, saved up for VIP before they started flexing. Other people are like, I don't care about VIP. I just want to get on that flex leaderboard. Um, which, again, it's just like a bit of silliness, but, you know, something to spend your points on. Um, so I've got about 10 minutes now. So I think this mine being near... Um, oh, a little tripwire there they set up. I'm going to disable that. Let's activate. Okay. Maybe I would have been better off not activating that, but I didn't seem to hear it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll send. Yeah, we'll uh, maybe we'll go a little bit over. I, I think this mine being near, right near Riverwood, essentially the start of the game, may not be that long. So let's have a little look for a minute. Wow, you idiot! Okay, we're gonna need a new zombie. Never mind, eh? Moving on. You worried someone will wander in here. Uh, the entrance isn't exactly hidden, you know. Uh, this again? I told you, we have someone standing guard out there. He's dead. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. It's self. Right, stop your worrying and get some rest. Your shift is coming up, and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. Oh. I do. Uh, however, I do want you dozing off like last time. Yeah, they don't look like very well armored or armed, do they? These lads, like comparatively. No, he's going to sleep. All right, so we'll leave him alone for a minute. Ooh, okay. All right, let's try and murder this bro in his sleep. I bet you we can. Oh, too late. He's seen us. Never mind. Hey! Okay. I was about to say, I don't know how they didn't hear that, but they did. They absolutely did. Uh... Right, where's my... Uh... There you go, buddy. You'll be so much easier to ro oh my god, he's just... He's just taking it. <laughs> he's just taking it. When you're dead, I'm not... <laughs> Oh, heavy armor increased to 50. An additional perk point. Yeah. So, um, with the leveling system we've got in this, we've, um, it, uh, the ordinator, it, uh, expands all of the trees out. So they all have far many more perk nodes. So I have put bonuses into, um, you just get an extra perks, basically, uh, from various means. Um, but I feel that with the difficulty of the combat, and the fact that dragons are twice as tough as they are usually, it kind of balances it out a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, no, I thought I could, uh, Tesco, I thought I could sneak right up to him and stab him, but I sh you're right, I should have shot him in the head, shouldn't I? Never mind. Oh! Decapitation! Oh! 
Wow, that's the first one of those we've done. Oh my gold. Well, that was satisfying. At least, I don't know what you're playing at, bro. I should have just shot him in the head. Never mind. Anyway. Um, let's mine this iron ore. Uh, so, let's see, uh, okay, we won't go anything more on, uh, uh, sneak, we got a trip wire, a silent roll, I don't know uh, how useful that is. Bone collector. I don't know how I felt about that. I want a whole army of skeletons following me around. Maybe, maybe later on it could be cool. But for now, um, we're in restoration here. Um, nothing's really jumping out to me that I specifically want at the moment. I think we need to do start moving on to heavy heavy armor though because uh stuff we can get here that would be very uh useful but a lot of them are like when you are wearing all heavy armor it's a bit of a bit of a thing um Take up 20% less damage from enemies with half or less damage for wearing all heavy armor. Um, I'm not, though, but um, what about that? Born to fight. Well, it's half as much. It slows you down half as much when worn. Okay, well, we need to be working to get that, don't we? So, let's get battle weary. Even if it's not specifically useful in itself. Anyway. Yeah, you just stand there, bro, if you want. That's fine. Yeah, I guess maybe my sneak's not quite good enough yet for me to be uh, creeping up on people while they're sleeping like that. Uh, I've only been working down here for days now. It's not uh, the time is getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. Well, there's countless times now to add extra supports to the weak se sections of tunnel. Uh, yeah. Didn't uh, work well for you, did it, buddy? They obviously didn't listen. Got skeletonized. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely. So here's the thing: we definitely uh, will uh, be upgrading everything eventually. I'm just, I guess, a uh, test on the just um, focusing combat skills a bit more in the early stages of the game. Um, uh, uh, probably, probably a few, but that's where I like to keep them, Balthier, not pull them out on display. But yeah, that's an interesting perk that I didn't. Look into it. it's conjuration perk. Um, once you get that, random human enemies can drop new items, which are bones, different bone types. There's apparently 11 different bones, and if you get a full set of bones uh, of all 11 and take them somewhere, uh, you can use them and you get a, a skeleton that just follows you around. A skeleton warrior is just your buddy. You've just made a skeleton minion. Um, the uh, advantage is uh, there doesn't seem to be a limit. So every set of bones you find, that's an extra skeleton. Uh, the main advantage is they do not die. They can be defeated, but after a short while, they get resurrected. So you can literally be a proper necromancer guy and have like a skeleton army following you around. Uh, the drawback, of course, is you're a necromancer guy who's got a skeleton army following you around everywhere you go. I don't think you could tell them to go away. I don't think you can d destroy them. You know what I mean? So... It sounds cool, and maybe at the end of the game, the playthrough, I'm like, ha now it's time to murder everyone in Skyrim. Um, that might be interesting, but otherwise, uh, <laughs> Ryan's like, what? Do that as do that now, do that right now. <laughs> um, but for practical purposes, uh, I'm sure you uh, understand where I'm coming from. Uh, okay, we've got a little switch here, which uh, drops our bridge down there. Okay, got ya. 
uh, wine's kind of uh, valuable. So yeah, no, it's just like imagine if I was walk sneaking through here and I had ten skeletons behind me. You know what I mean? It, I'd feel like they were, uh... bro. You are useless. Useless zombie. Um, you know they might be getting in the way a little bit. You see what I'm saying? So it's not that we're not going to do that at all. Just that we'll probably put it off for a little bit. You know. Although, arguably, even if we weren't going to make the skeletons, it might be better to get that perk sooner rather than later so we can start collecting the bones. So we can stash the bones. So when the time came, we could have, like, 50 skeletons rather than two. Um, either way. If it sounds interesting. Um, are we already out? Pair of wines we don't need. We're already out uh, finding this guy's journal in that chest there. Uh, I don't think we can actually go that? through there. Oh, it was nothing. Not a thing. Yeah, it, it'd be hilarious. Test. And I, that's the thing. I don't actually know how that's how it works. We're just reading the, the, the description of the perk. That's how it sounds like it works. And I don't see, you know, like modern Skyrim. There's no specific limits to anything, are there? So, um, um, ah, okay. I'd forgotten that task. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be heading. Well, let me just say this task. You know, I'm, I, I know the game pretty well, so I'm not worried about spoilers. But just in case there's any, um, anybody in chat who's not familiar with Skyrim, and there's a few people, I'm trying to kind of avoid mentioning specific things. But I can say this to you, task. After we've, I felt like we've done with Falkreath, uh, the Rift will be the next uh, hold that we head to. Let's just say that. Um, so, uh, we shall see. Uh, let me just get this. This does make noise. Uh, but... The way this war's going, there might not be anyone left to steal from soon. <sighs> no. Maybe. There we go. You've not seen us. Oh my god. That was a bit weak, but never mind. Uh, where's my sword? There we go. Killing you will make for an excellent story. Oh, I can't really, uh, see him. Let's, um, let's head over here, lady. I can actually see her. There we go. Um, okay, a anyway, key. Let me, um, as that other zombie back there is completely useless. Let me turn her into a zombie. Salt. Salt was uh, always a good one to take. Oh, Frost Miriam. My god. Always worth checking. What are you going to find? Uh, oh. Leather armor of plunder. 5% chance to loot an additional magic item from people you kill. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily rock that, but I can disenchant it for sure. Uh, hunting by smoldering. Target burns for one point uh, per second until combat ends. Nice. Uh, Runel's journal. So, we we found his ring already, so this is going to help us. I don't know. I need to read his journal specifically. A bunch of stuff. That's fine. We'll, we just need to take it back to him. A mushroom. That's nice. Yes, this is the bathroom. Nice. 
No worries about there. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping up the stream soon. We're basically at the end of our schedule, but I just would like to um, get this done. Um, damn, Tesk, that's annoying. But when you're at that, that kind of level, you're basically like the god of Skyrim, aren't you? Which is fun. But I, I feel like maybe there's um, not too much more for you to do at that point. <laughs> bridge there all sorts of people in the distance there a right, sneak is going up steadily hey there buddy Have you seen me? You would pay for that? Yeah. Is that right? Okay, okay. I'll pay for it. Alright, the zombies in this dungeon don't seem to uh be working so well. That's fine. Um Lack of uh, stamina is never a good thing. Definitely need to put more points into stamina sooner rather than later. Well, you've got one, bud. I don't know if he was their boss, but if he, he, he was a chonky boy. Um, right, I'll take the orcish boots uh, and the steel plate helm just for their value. Uh, and the dagger. I don't need anything else there, though. Even when it's not right, perfect. Uh, oh, interesting note. Okay, that's cool. So they're kind of like a, some reaction mods, not where like people will recognise you to be a certain thing. I'm, um, let's get some candlelight on the situation. Ooh, light armor forging. Smithing level up. Nice. Level 30. Seem well, apart from the ability to go fishing, there doesn't seem to be anything uh, down here. Let's keep going. Ah, that sucks, Tesk. Well, that's the thing, you know, vanilla Skyrim is a beautiful thing in and of itself. Um, but this is, um, you know, so when I when it was voted for by my producers, um, they uh. I was just thinking vanilla Skyrim. I wasn't thinking like specifically mods or anything. But when it was actually came up, I was like, "Huh, let me um, let me look into this." And it kind of all like snowballed, and now here we are. It's probably not like the perfect setup, but it's uh, good enough for us to have some uh, decent amount of fun with. So pretty happy about that, right? Let's uh, see what we got here. Money. Oh, oh my God! Bunch of gems and gold. 
Yoink. Um. Right, so this is just their food stores. Okay. I guess it links up. Yeah, you go across the bridge or you go this way. Oh, no. Uh, all the cool things. Um Uh bound out of bounds white run skyforge chest. Ah, uh, I did not know that. Yeah, that's this, this, this the thing about this game. There's just all sorts of everything. Oh, I know all, which we specifically need for building our new uh, manor house in uh, Falkreath. we go come on coming too much more of this uh, little mine left all right what we got scaled helm it was crazy scaled as in dragon scaled i don't know um or well lizard scaled i don't know something it's uh, quite valuable so we take it elven armor i do like the look of that not necessarily practical but um, we'll take those as they're somewhat valuable and the elven bow uh and of course all the arrows Yeah, it's almost like a little starter dungeon, isn't it? Which you could easily just go and explore. I'm sure many people did. And, I've, and, and like maybe a, just just as many just to completely ignored it, and so they were like, "Oh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going just heading to Riverwood. Screw that little dungeon there. Don't mind." But right, back at Skyrim, so I guess that's it. There's different entrance, but um. And that's it, folks. Back outside. Just a little bit further down. Cool. Okay, so we've got, um... We've got, uh, Runel's journal. And then we can give him his ring back as well. So that's the next thing we need to do. Head back to Falkreath. Um... I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Or maybe I could even do that... After, uh... After stream, maybe. And some wolves. If you want to fight, we can fight. I don't think you wanna. I'm just go back down to the road. Here we go. Ooh. Um, okay, let's do a save. That's not, you can't have too many saves, I guess. Uh, and there we go, guys. That's uh, we'll leave it right there for now. I would love to do more. I could easily play this. Uh, for another five six eight hours with you guys but i am restrained by i'm a bit on my, uh, my schedule um so we will have to leave this here for now unfortunately let me jump over oh, here for a minute sort out my audio monitoring it kills it every time one sec There we go. And now it's perfectly fine again. Um, go on then, Is Bow fear every time. He's like, oh, Is, I heard you doing a 12-hour stream today. And you know, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Noct, thank you for being here. Uh, Tesk, thank you for finding us. Um, so, I, so basically, Tesk, because I'm um, Abby, thank you for stopping in, my dear. Honoured to know you. Um, so you probably guessed with my silly uh, accent, uh, Tesk. I'm in the UK. Same as Bow fear there. Oh, thank you, Faith, for hanging out. I appreciate you greatly. Um, uh, I am basic. So for me, I don't know what time it is for you at the minute, Tesk. For me, it's just gone 9 p.m. Um, so I live with my brother, and my brother's bedroom is directly above my streaming room. What that means is I have to keep the noise down around this time of night um, going onwards. 
so uh we do stream for we just done seven hours so i start i aim to start 2 p.m 2 to 9 p.m my time so it, if you're over in the states um that's basically we start at 9 a.m eastern or if you're a uh, pacific time 6 a.m it's i know it's not ideal it is what it is that's i've got to work with what i've got to work with um so if you're if you are ah tesk you're ah excellent you know what tesk that this might work out good for you then you're an aussie excellent i've um i've never had any pers personal close to, uh hey <laughs> thank you ryan calm yourself ryan thank you blasting through those gift subs thank you sir there you go tesk got a little um got a little chocobo now yeah i've, I've never had any personal australian friends but um any australians i've met in passing have all been good people and that's a stupid thing to say because it's like tesk isn't i don't want to be judged as australian i'm an individual but anyway um but uh yeah perfect tesco i appreciate that buddy so we are so just to give you a little bit of insight before we wrap up um i am uh this channel is primarily a um a variety channel um we we're playing skyrim modern skyrim just because essentially uh it came up on our list that our producers chose um but because it's a quite chunky game we're going to play it we can't play it to completion but we will be playing it for the next six months unfortunately so the idea is we're going to play in it all of this week so yeah it's tuesday today right yeah so wednesday thursday friday i stream monday to fridays um i'm available on weekends if you need to get a hold of me on discord but i do not do an official stream and then we'll play more skyrim all of next week by the end of next friday we'll obviously not have completed the game and barely scratched the surface the tip of the iceberg however i do have producers and not just for the producers but for myself we have other games to explore on this channel and uh get into our you know with each other and you know just just be here for each other as best as we can so uh from let me give you the date i don't know if people pay attention to dates nowadays but uh yeah so the end of this week so yeah so from starting the week beginning the 19th we will not be doing skyrim modded all week but we will keep it going so the idea at the minute is to every friday we would keep the skyrim playthrough going uh and, mon and monday to thursday we would like, do whatever we were going to be doing anyway um but yeah so uh i don't know what time that um equates for you tesk but uh you're more than welcome to join us like i say uh in fact, let me let me do the calculation. Uh, time zones. Australia. Uh, and what time is it in Australia right now? Time and date. There we go. Okay, plus eight or up to plus ten. Right. Okay. So depending on what part of Australia you're in, uh, uh, Tesk. If you're on the west, you're eight hours ahead of me. So that means you just got up first thing in the morning haven't you buddy if i understand so eight hours from the start of after my stream so basically it's your evening tesk when we start it's um it's basically like 10 o'clock at night and i don't know what time you, you come on the schedule you keep what time you go to bed but there you go we start here when it's uh it's six yeah it's, okay it's six in the morning for you yes yeah, so you're like one hour ahead of that so it's quite late so it depends what time you, your your sleep schedule is like, Tesk. If you are a night owl, uh, the, this stream will be perfect for you. Uh, or if it's a case that you've just woken up and you just wake up real early, uh, then um, right, okay. Well, there you go. So if you you just sleep in, but if you ever want to stop in and say hello, we will be here. Um, yeah, living in the future. See, I live in the future from these guys, but Tesk is like. <laughs> I'm like cutting edge like a day ahead <laughs> but anyway guys thank you all so much for being here um just do the thank yous thank you very much to not that guy ryan not only for becoming a, one of our you know our latest vip uh but also dropping 200 bitties and also three gift subs ryan sir if there's anything i can do for you you just let me know uh thank you also very much to um queen velvet text peaky for the 100 bitties uh thank you very much to uh jay uh for the follow and also thank you very much to tesk uh for the follow as well 
Yeah. Nice emotes there. Very nice emotes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, he is. Tesk, he really is. He's, um... I don't remember exact... I think, yeah, I met Ryan through uh, Fifi Demon. Uh, and I think I met Fifi. I think she just randomly raided us one time. Or randomly found my stream or something. So, um... Yeah, I'm very pleased to know Ryan. He's a... Uh, He's an excellent and super supportive dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I do try and remember these things, Ryan. It was, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, Fifi, uh, she uh, pops in occasionally. Um, oh, Abby. Yeah, no. Anything I can do for you, Abby, you just let me know. Um, but guys, yes, thank you so much. Excellent stream. I, uh, I do need to wrap up because I've got to eat. Uh, let me see who's around for us to raid. Uh, if anybody has the points and they want to choose a raid... You're more than welcome to uh, cash those in. We raided Robot Death Parrot yesterday. We also got one of those gift subs uh, from uh, Ryan. But um, here we go. Here we go. We've got a few good choices here. Speak about Barrel. So I, try to, I, I do generally raid the same people. Um, uh, uh, Satana. I hope he's... Uh, He's, okay, he's doing the Grandia 2 finale. Okay, maybe we, maybe if he starts a new game, we'll get on to that. Cause I'm, I probably want to stream Grandia 2 myself at some point. But um, Excellent choices. I'm going to send you over to Slight of Game. Slight of Game is playing Donkey Kong Country. One of the most excellent uh, 2D platforming series that I, I've ever played. And we have covered those all on this channel already. And it's very different from Skyrim. Um, oh, there's Phoenix as well. He's playing Wild Arms. Not very nice. Uh, um, but yeah, I'll send you over to Slight. He is like a brother to me. And um, he is someone that I'm very happy to be raiding, uh, you know, a, a once a week. That doesn't upset me at all. You know, we have to mix it up a little bit. But he's like one person that, you know, maybe in a different way. Uh or maybe, I don't know, everyone's different, aren't they? But um, he's somebody else who has, in his own way, supported me just as much as Ryan has there. Um, so, yeah, do hang around if you don't know him. Uh, but if you, you know, if anyone, you know, you've got to eat dinner, you've got to go to bed, you've got to go to work. you got another, you want to do a stream. You want to go into somebody else's stream, you go do that. I'm not precious about, hey, here's the raid message. Everybody do what I say. No, you guys do what you want to do, and that makes me happy. Um, but let's go see Slight. Um, same time tomorrow, folks. We will uh, continue sorting it, doing stuff in Falkreath. And I feel like there's not too much things I want to do in Falkreath. So we may very well be moving on to Riften, uh, this capital of the Rift, uh, over to the east, the southeast of Skyrim tomorrow, and see what adventure, adventures await us there. Well, thank you, Tess. That means a, a lot to me, you, hearing you say that. Because that's what people, that's what streamers want. They want to get eyeballs on them. And then they want people to go, oh, I, I, like, I like this weirdo. Faye, thank you for being here, my dear. And same to you. And if you need, ever need anything, you get at me. Um, let's go see Slight. Get at, yeah, message me on Discord if anyone needs me between now and tomorrow. I'll, be, I'll get some food. I'm freaking hungry. I think I've, I'm lucky enough to have pizza tonight. Ow! I'll see you soon, folks. Take care.